Hello. Uh, give me a second. I still need to uh, switch the samples out. Um, I was doing a little bit of research before this, so I thought I would prep the samples in advance and get things ready. It's been super humid here, and so the uh, the SCM is uh, struggling a little bit with the extra humidity. Um, in particular, trying to get the chamber under a vacuum, uh, we can get it, you know, under a modest vacuum pretty easily. But when we start trying to pump out all the moisture to get that last little bit of the vacuum clear uh, creates a little bit of trouble and uh, I have a dehumidifier back there uh, in the corner and I brought the humidity down from about 80% to 72% so far oh I got the whole crowd coming A uh, army of young ladies are here to help me as well. So hopefully the chamber will completely go under pressure. Are they gonna help with chat, or are you just back there looking around? What was that? I just saw text message. So it's like, I'll come get it. What's this stuff called that we're on? Twitch. <laughs> uh, let's see. So this side over here, that's Eleanor. Hi. It's Mary. I don't think... Mary, have you ever been on the Twitch stream? No, I don't think wow. so. It's an experience. Dangle is first, on here. First <laughs> appearance uh, by Mary. And then at this one over here in the blanket is Rihanna. <laughs> it's cold. Dangling's on here. I haven't seen dangling in so long. Where's um? Mallory is on the beach right now, relaxing and having a good time and pretending she's working on a paper. So <laughs> <laughs> the backup singers. Exactly. I'm going to do my part, and then uh, they'll have to just do theirs, I guess. You see that? She doesn't even care. I freaking know. She only cares about Mallory. It was rude. I know. She's just here for Mallory. As usual. It's fine, I don't miss you either. Dangling. Wow. Perfect. That escalated fast. Is it still from earlier? No, I was taking pictures. Okay. I was actually using the SCM for a while, but um, these samples have a little bit more organic matter in them than the ones I had in them. And so it takes a little while for uh, the extra moisture, even from those samples, to also get pumped out. So I'm a little concerned that it might not pump it all the way down, and then we'll have to do this like pump vent, pump vent thing for a little bit. So that's OK. Has Micah been on here in a while? Micah, uh, I haven't seen, uh, but they were busy in uh, one of the Dakotas. So. Um, all the people behind me currently are undergrads doing research for the summer in the SURE program. Apparently they are tired of whatever it is they were working on today and just want to come hang out. Oh, we had to come do work in here, you know. Yeah. You had, had to? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was tired of looking at the is back home now and he's not even on. Wow. Well, Big it's fan. it's still early and... Um, I don't also demand that everybody who follows me I show up. I demand Micah and Dangle will show up. Every time that I stream. Pacific, uh, and Pacific. Pacific's not here either. Pacific is in class right now, oh, I believe. Wow. She's taking a diatom course. 2000. 
Thank you. Yeah, we have 2,000 followers. Yeah, Open said it's not mandatory no, attendance. It, uh, it would be crazy if all 2,000 of my followers showed up for this. <laughs> and they were just like... I will be calling names. So they <laughs> the chat would just be like a wall of whatever. You just start emailing people. Where are you? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we're at 1.5. We need this thing to be like way lower than that. So it'll probably bottom out soon, and then I'll have to vent it and pump it again. Also, it doesn't help that I, you know, open the chamber to put my samples in, so... You know... Uh, you know what we could do is... Uh, we could send out shout-outs, you know? Um, Give you guys jobs around here. We do one for open set. There's open sets. You should follow it. open set if you're not already. And uh, we got a one for Rex. Look at these. I have like just everybody custom commands if they're here. We got one for Mind of a Snail. Never, never met that person. Bloop. It's two people. What, a snail? Yeah, Mind of a Snail. They're two, two snails with one mind. And, uh, they streamed last night. They did a, uh, an awesome little stream. I've got, well, he uh, me out and I go. like that. Still waiting on the pump. <laughs> You give a shout out to Rihanna. Uh, give a shout out to Rihanna's boyfriend. Um, me and my. You just gave a shout out to my ex boyfriend. <laughs> Say you did it. Shout out to the ex boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know who they are, so it'll be fine. Oh, I didn't realize that's my pro <laughs> ex boyfriend. I need to take my rope up and go when it was on there. Then we gotta start pumping all over again, Rihanna, and it's your fault. It's all your fault. It's your fault. Your fault. I gave you one job around X's here. Matter. Is there an opposite to a shout out? A whisper out? Um, we can whisper uh, out a cancel like, out? Yeah, we can cancel people. Can we cancel them? Yeah. Should we cancel your ex-boyfriend? Yeah, we but should. Does that mean we only have like 19, 99 followers? No, no, we're he over is the... following, oh, so okay. that would be only... <laughs> we gotta keep the numbers. It's okay. We're over 2,000. We're safely at uh, 2014. But I do know that we had 2015 earlier, so it's possible that they heard that and then instantly removed us. They were like... <laughs> <laughs> she goes, wow, wait, the Minecraft guy? Y'all are together? Because you played Minecraft with all of us. The betrayal. Go burn his stuff down. <laughs> did you, did you un-whitelist him? From the, uh, no, I from the Minecraft server? That explains why Rihanna hasn't been on playing video games. <laughs> Do you have a new one? A new what? Boyfriend. No. No. Curious. You hear that? She's available. <laughs> Are you looking for a new one? I'm looking for a new profile picture. <laughs> Are those things related? All right, we will attempt to vac vacuum out the chamber again. This time, do the vacuuming correctly so we don't have to start over, Rihanna. I'm gonna fight. Dangling, we're not gonna set his house on fire in Minecraft. We're going to set um, 
you know. All the trees on fire. Like the real one. The fruit trees. On the real life. <laughs> wow. Is real life house on fire? <laughs> I'll make sure everyone else is out. You are angry. <laughs> I to do that after our third presentation. <laughs> okay, after that. I can't have you in jail. Okay, that's fine. After the third presentation or after the symposium? Because that's, that's after... Do we present the symposium? Like, I'll just hire a hitman. It's okay. It I don't person? have to do it myself. It may be one of those days where we have to take some of the materials Our out. It is a good response. I feel like it's not too, like, out there. It's not, like, murder, but it's, like, you know. <laughs> it's not chill. murder. Someone said that ours seems like a measured response. Or you release, like, a ton of security wow. in this chimney, and so you won't find it. We have peanut butter all over his car. Wouldn't that be annoying to have peanut butter all over your car? Do you know, uh, Just in the I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the, uh, one of my former lab uh, assistants in undergrad who was in my lab. Someone threw ham all over their car and then the crows came because you know how Terre Haute's all full of crows yeah. and then they crapped all over his car and also <laughs> there were crows covering his car. What did this man do? He didn't do anything so I think uh, I think because at the time he was like dating somebody and they were fine and now they're married so like I don't think that there was anything to do with him. Uh, but if you want to get vengeance, I feel like that's a good one. Just throw ham some on the car? sliced ham on their car. Or wait, wait till November when sandwich. the crows are here, and then there's a there's a side benefit, which is that you're feeding the crows. Yeah. So um, I'm just throwing that out there as a possible solution. Dangling that song is before he cheats, and you know I scream and sing that song, of course. What's going on? She said our background music could be that one. Oh, country song by, maybe it's a different song, by Miranda Lambert. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I was thinking Bored Before He Cheats by Carrie Underwood. That's more my style. Uh-huh. Like, as we walk with the house burning in the back. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm like Facebook friends with most of my ex-girlfriends. Just gonna throw that Why? out there. Why? Because I'm not angry at them? <laughs> That's something old in the Because I don't bro. feel like I need you to burn their house the down? Yeah, you can. You must end things nicely, then. I mean... Some of us... Some of us... <laughs> right? Things in the car and paint thinner. <laughs> <laughs> I love all these tips. Yeah, we're, we I should maybe this. change the title of the... Uh, I'm glad we're in Just Chatting for today. Because I feel like these are some really uh, useful dating... <laughs> wow, never heard of that one. It's a good one. I sh you should put glitter in his car. Oh, just a glitter bomb. Mm -hmm. I could mail one to him. Uh, An find office. the intake valve on his car yeah. where it intakes the you know the air, and then put the glitter in there. I'm gonna you know, shove a sock just like into straight the back up the car. glitter tube kidding, straight into the intake there. valves. So that on TikTok. Oh, we're trying to figure out uh, yeah dating advice and arthropods. How to terrorize our X's and arthropods. We're doing dating advice while we're waiting for the vacuum pump to figure out how it's going to manage <laughs> with the humidity. So What's the number at now? The pump? Yeah, oh, it's it's not quite under possible. 1. It, it needs to be well under 1. So I think we're going to probably need one more <laughs> 5 minute pump down. What's the suggestion? Dangling suggestion. <laughs> Put a fish in the intake. <laughs> that is another option, yeah. I don't know. Give his dog's food off the plate. Oh, that's not terrible. Uh, is everyone here's why? Oh, you mean here in the background? Yeah, there's a lot of people. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm shunning Eleanor. I've got her like, I'm, kind of I'm blocking her, and also she's behind me. Get behind me, Eleanor. Wait, hey, what's this? this? You're fine. Everybody's on the screen. Woo. That's a document scanner. It's used for when we like nice. dissect things. Nice. And we need to show it. Or cool. I want to like prep a sample in front of people. I'll show it using that. It's fancy. Super fancy. It untrains his dog to expect food while he's eating. Oh, I see. His dog will really sit on you while you're eating and beg you for food either way. So. I mean, yeah, my dog d did that anyhow. So it's it's, they just sit there and drool. Uh, look, we got down to 1.2.
We almost got all the moisture out of the chamber. You guys raised the relative humidity in the room when you came in, you know you that? Did. No, because I looked up there and it was at 72 and now it's at 74. Up You're bringing in all your looked sweating. Up where? I can't help it. What'd you look at? Right there where That's it says relative clock. humidity? Yeah, on the little <laughs> left hand side, there's That's a the temperature, there's a temperature on the right and on the left is the relative humidity that's in the room. Yeah. I track it because what? we need the relative humidity to be Who's low. Who's the in other there. chick? What other chick, Mary? No. Dingling said, what happened with the other chick? What other chick? Valerie? Oh, Laura, I think they mean. Oh, Laura. Laura's in the field. Yeah. She's in the field, and Mallory is on the beach, so. Laura is, uh, she's out doing field work. And you guys left Addie in the lab, I'm assuming. She's working. She's working, yeah. Not like you guys. Not this, whatever this is. How do I believe this? I'll get back out of it. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm just being silly. I read it, Digital Seahorse, but I can't say that. But I did read it. <laughs> what are you deleting over there? <laughs> it says on the bad. You were still with them. That's your first mistake. Uh, yeah, they are taking forever to become doctors. I mean, I don't know that any of them are aiming to become doctors, except for this one. I can't go, none of them are like... What's that? I thought you could go, none of them, and I was like, wow. Um, only a little bit longer. I'll do like a catch me if you can type thing, you know? A what? Catch me if you can, Leonardo DiCaprio. I know that movie. You know, where he pretends maybe. to be a doctor? Yeah. And then he pretends to be a pilot. He did really good. Yeah, I think I could do that. Were you pretend to be a doctor? Yeah. He did good. Oh, I see. It's a it's a true story too. Is it? Yeah. It's a good movie. Uh, I mean, I guess if that's what you want to do. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. How have you not seen that? It's pretty famous. Um, there's lots of movies by lots of people I haven't seen. Have you seen The Great Gatsby? Let's yeah. roll back a little bit. Okay, go ahead. Pick another really famous Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Um, well, I'm going to pick the one that you probably have never watched and it's probably really bad. The Wolf of Wall Street? Nope. That's a Titanic? Good one. Nope. That's a good one. What? Nope. I've seen all of these. What's wrong with you? You haven't seen Titanic either? Nope. But that's literally... <laughs> that's right. That's right, Mary. That's right. Pitiful. I thought I was like one of the only people Gilbert in Grape? the world. Have you seen Gilbert Grape? What's eating Gilbert Grape? Yes. Wow. You've seen one? I mean, I've seen some. I'm just saying, like, there's lots of movies I haven't seen. Yeah, I said The Great Gatsby. You said you haven't watched it. I haven't. Have you read the book? In high school. Yeah, it was required reading. Basketball bias. I've never heard of that one. Is it I, Pan, like a Romeo and Juliet one? I forget what it's I called. We it watched that in Inception. He's in Inception, right? Uh, I have seen Inception. Yes. That's a good movie. What's it about? A dream within a dream. Okay. So he's in a dream. You've and never seen Inception? Dream, no. Dream. It's really okay. good. You should watch her. Also, have you watched Interstellar? You probably have. Hey, I Pacific have Plankton is here. Pacific Plankton made it. How is your class, Pacific? How's it going? Are you done? Or are you just like uh, sleeping through the uh, the end of class here, sneaking out, playing hooky, virtual hooky? Class is out. Oh, okay. Horton hears a who. Do you I know what? Seen the Lorax. Uh, I have not seen Horton hears a, uh, a who, but I've read the book many what times. Recommend. And uh, really, you're not a fan. Not of Horton hears a who. That movie was. I like the Lorax. Do you like the Lorax? I like the Lorax. Better. You have to make a diatom? She's going to make one? Oh, you mean like knit them? Did she give you knitting directions? Oh, it's homework. Wow. Are you going to make them out of a snowflake? Like a paper, paper cutting? Have I ever seen this blanket? 
Uh, probably <laughs> not. It's a diatom blankie. That blanket was made by my former student, uh, Sabrina Brown. I, you, <laughs> never mind. I rolled on the chair. Yeah. Have you ever seen Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Diatoms? Uh, I don't think so. I did see all the other Star Wars, though. Secret one. How yeah. many people know about it? Labeled models. Uh, what does that mean? Labeled models. Labeled models. Are you making them out of clay? I was in diatom school. Is this your wallet? Yeah. This is a big wallet. It's all full of money, that's why. <laughs> you know what else is in here? Uh, your fake ID. <laughs> my vaccine card. My purse. Uh, my next dentist appointment. My driver's license. Mine's next Monday. What a coincidence. Uh, yeah, we're like twinsies now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, your dentist appointment is next Monday? 8 a.m. Uh, hey. Mine was a couple of weeks ago, actually. And you missed it? No. Okay. My next one's in November. Last time when I had to get my mouth numb, it was numb for 12 hours, can you eat anything? Really? Yeah. The same day I had surgery on my hand. It was crazy. Oh, you, that was the same day your wrist? Yeah. Why? Why are you suffering? You know what? You <laughs> we never even got to talk about uh, Eleanor's wrist, have we? I feel like it's a topic. It is, it is a, topic. a topic. We're down to one. We're still pumping. How long? What do we need to do? Under, it's got to be way under one. What happens if you would make it go? What happens if I what? Would make it go. It won't go. I won't go. Do you see how the light won't turn on? Oh. See? High voltage button doesn't even light up until this thing turns green. So we're just chatting until then. And it didn't make it. Oh. We're going to give it one more try. We're going to vent it one last the time. The lizard girl? Who's the lizard girl? Sarah. Oh, yeah. We dissected a, a lizard in, on the, uh, in the lab here. Is that the lizard girl? We don't have any lizard girls. I'm not a lizard girl. Well. <laughs> I'm actually going to be a horse girl this weekend, so I'm going to the Kentucky Derby. A what girl? Are you going to have the cats? Um, I probably will not because um, I hate hats. Oh. But they said it was, my friend invited me and it's called you Churchill Downs. You hate hats? Downs. And I thought it was a country singer because like Churchill Downs, like, you know, little country band. You thought Churchill Downs was a country band? I did. And I looked it up and I go, oh, we're watching horses race. That's going to be it's fun. interesting. I've never watched a horse race. I've Have you ever been? I've been on TV, but not You've like, never been person. to the actual, like. No. They're fun to watch on TV. No. Horse girl for the weekend. Do you hate hats because they mess your hair up? Or do you hate hats I because. I look like an egg. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> no, but it's, it's a big hat. So I'm just going to put that in my list of quotes. I look like an egg. <laughs> it does make me look. I will now that I'm. The parting, hat makes you look like I'm an egg. My hair or you look now, like so an maybe egg. Maybe I won't look like an egg. Well, I mean, I still what do you mean egg. by I look like an egg? Round, and then the hat just adds to it, and it shows my round head. Your head is round. Yeah. I feel like all of our heads are round. Some of them are extra round. Mine's heart shaped. Oh, <laughs> With like a dent in the top? Yeah. Heart shape? It's pointy. It's pointy at the bottom and the top? <laughs> so your head is egg shaped, and a hat somehow makes your head more egg shaped? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't understand. Mary, I'm with you. Also, Mary's wearing a hat. Does her head look like an egg to you? No, you don't have a round face. I do. Okay. <laughs> you just have cheekbones, man. You should show them off. That should be something to be ashamed of. These are just chubby. Like, what are you... They're cheekbones. So when you're old, they'll still be there and you'll look young. I'm really nervous that I'm going to start getting forehead wrinkles soon. I've been fearing it. I'm with you, <laughs> Pragmatic. They want to know if you cut down the roundness by putting a giant covering on it, wouldn't that make it less egg-shaped? <laughs> 
<laughs> also, <laughs> you would think. Also, I just want to throw this out there. If you got a hat with like, uh, like a bird on it, because some people who go to the Kentucky Derby they got hats with a bird on it. With a bird. Then, if your face looked like an egg, it would fit the theme. It would be like hat. With the bird and it's egg. egg. <laughs> and it's sitting on an egg. Where? It's gonna be, you should. It's a fun thing people do. I already like whenever I heard about it, I was like, oh, we're just gonna wear like you know jean shorts and like <laughs> you know a nice shirt for like country concert. And I looked, and she goes, it's like formal wear. And I was like, what? It's a white dress. <laughs> so excited. You mean they won't let you into Can the... I bet on a horse? How much I just want to know... It depends on the horse. Well, they don't let you in if you don't dress right. I just want to know if you were planning on wearing jeans with holes in the knees, or were you planning on dressing <laughs> somehow... Shorts with holes in the, in, in the thighs right there. With the pockets sticking out? <laughs> no, not the pockets sticking out. The pockets are in. Pockets have to be in? I need yeah. to know what the latest fashions are, <laughs> and um, so do the people on Twitch. All I wear is jeans with rips in them. I can con I can confirm um, this. Flannels, crop tops, Air Force ones. Um, Air Force, yeah. Air Force ones. What's an Air Force one? one? It's the shoes. This is an Air Force one. That looks like a Nike tennis shoe. Yes, yes, yeah, best shoe ever. That's the best shoe ever. Best shoe ever. Are you gonna be my surgeon? They were bot ripped for extra. <laughs> You pay more money for less material. I have some without rips, except they're ripped with water. When you run them through the washing machine, do the holes get bigger? No, but I do actually rip them sometimes. To make the holes bigger? No. You were like, Just not enough of my kneecap is showing. The guys won't like me. You know, I think they're fun jeans, so. Do sometimes when you put them on, do your leg go out the wrong hole? I have done that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Purposely damaged goods are fashion. I never, me either, honestly. Distressed jeans, yes. Distressed. <laughs> yeah, OpenSet wants to know, do they cost more or less based on who it is that ripped them? I get mine from American Eagle. Um, and so some Chinese laborer ripped, ripped them is what them. you're saying. Child who, labor? Who yeah, like some small child from China's Spending time they, ripping the if, jeans they, the they, they constructed. Nike does. Nike is child labor. You mean the Nike... That what? my shoes are... <laughs> 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 the ones. You're they all cost, dressed in child labor, is what you're trying to tell us. They do cost more on the rip. Especially if you bought them from a designer, they'd be like a million bajillion dollars. What I want to know is if we, ta if we duct taped like a banana to your pants, would they be worth more or less? Duct tape with a banana? Yeah. It's a fashion statement. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think extra for being ripped as a part of a performance art piece from my sister. <laughs> You'd pay extra for jeans ripped as part of a performance art from Mind of Snail. I think that's a great idea. I can rip all your jeans for you guys if you want. We can all be ripped jeans. We send our um, jeans to you, you I rip, rip them. them. And I send them back, and we all rip jeans club. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Wait, I have a question. Do they, do they, who pays the shipping here? Um, the stream does. <laughs> Our stream money goes towards shipping yeah. so that people can ship their jeans here. And then do you, do you get it's paid for ripping them or is that I just, a, that's just them, a service you do? $50 per rip. <laughs> that's good because then it's a tax write off. We might have to reduce some of our collection of things because it does not appear that it's able to pump down with all of the things in there. Yeah. I think you should take off the worm because I feel like he's the juiciest. The worm. The millipede. The millipede is the juiciest. He looked very <laughs> squishy when you were touching him earlier. He was like mending him back down and it was like all squishy. When I put it into the vacuum chamber, it stood up because of the uh, pressure. Yeah. Now it's kind of freaking me out because I thought maybe it was still alive somehow. It's we very even, recently we, dead. We can even start a band for our ripped jeans. There it goes. Okay. We'll vent. We'll take something out and then we'll try it again. Yay, putting more air back in the chamber. Yes, and we're putting some more air back Worn in the chamber. Worn.
entertain them with your shenanigans here while I'm, while I'm trying to take samples out. Is this a bottle opener? Yes. It's also a dinosaur. Ooh. Rotate around to the other one. There's a fish one. Are these? Also a bottle opener. I don't know how you wow. open bottles this, but... You know what? I don't actually even drink anything that requires <laughs> I know, a bottle. Know. <laughs> That's so funny. You bought them for the aesthetic, so you really can't trash on me. Those I got keys. for free. Nice. Buy on your keys. Aesthetic. You know what I have in mind? A little egg man. <laughs> Scooter Tama, and I want all of them. Uh... And I have my keys. I'm sorry, what did you okay. just say? It's my little egg man. It's a little egg. Did you say Gudetama? Yeah. Do you know that my daughter has a Gudetama piggy bank? Really? I love him. He's just Where you put adorable. the coin in and then he comes out and grabs it, you know, like really? one of those. Really? Yeah, I've seen that. So cute. Oh no. You the think I should take the millipede out? It looks like it's literally the one with the most moisture in it compared to the other ones. It's also the coolest looking one. Then take off two of the other big things. Maybe the wing. We've seen a wing before. I feel like the wing is not going to create any problem if it's dry. It's milky. Bugs. English sandwiches love bugs. English sandwiches here? Yeah. Can you give them a shout out? Hopefully I do this right. How hard could it be? Um, I got it. You did? The project we're looking, we're talking about dating advice and we're looking at arthropods. This is true. That is our current situation. So did you put wet stuff in the SEM? Yes, he did. He put a juicy millipede in there. And it's just too thick, and it's just is not compressing right. Did you say thick? <laughs> Checks out. Did you say my millipede is thick? <laughs> this is what I got. It wasn't dating you, but it was bad relationship vengeance. <laughs> Y'all were disgusting. You know. Can you give Mario the science guy a shout out? Yeah. Hi, Mario. How you doing? For uh, for people who don't know, English Sandwich uh, does uh, English teaching. Oh. Is it a baby to it? And Mario the Science Guy is a new science streamer, so you should give them a follow. And also, um, our normal comment has, content usually has less dating advice. <laughs> I said our normal content has less dating advice. It's not as fun though. Uh, well, at no point do we talk about setting anybody's house on fire, so there's that. You've never seen an SEM in action. Well, hopefully we can actually get ours into action today. Yeah. The humidity, so the humidity is super high, which makes it hard for the vacuum to completely uh, remove all the moisture from the chamber. And uh, then we have a little bit of additional moisture because our sample has some uh, recently living organisms on it. Thick organisms. Oh, um, we're also talking about fashion. So if you're interested in ripped jeans or um, bird hats, bird hats or any kind of... Um, what well, part of dating involves house fires? That's a good question, Pacific. You know, it's a really <laughs> crucial part if they, like, you know, break your heart. Just to have that, just in case. The house fire comes when the hearts get broken. Exactly. You always have to prepare for the breakup. Yeah. Also, open set. About your thing about making a cook, like, a really nice dinner. Do you know how to make a sweet potato not hard as <laughs> well? Because I have been trying to perfect the perfect sweet potato, and I just end up ordering one from Outback and picking it up. <laughs> and I just need the assistance to understand how to cook a sweet potato. You know who should probably. ask? Pacific. Yeah, Pacific. She probably knows how to cook a sweet potato. I mean, I'm not saying open set doesn't. But yeah. my recommendation you didn't listen to, which is just to put it on the grill. I don't have a grill. My apartment doesn't have... Ask the question again. 
I'm actually a sweet potato expert. Okay, so every time I cook it in the oven... It's... He even worked on the sweet potato genome project. Oh. <laughs> um, every time I cook one, it turns out hard as a rock, and I just want it to be like Outback, you know? What's, what's the Outback? Dude, like Outback, the steakhouse. I do know the steakhouse. Their house. sweet potatoes are so just like soft, brown sugar. It's like the it's the perfect sweet potato, and I just and yours come out hard as a rock. Yeah. Can you explain I how you you're hour. getting all kinds of advice? I put oil on it. I did do that. Cut it in half. Cook a lower temperature. Rub it, with olive oil. If I put it in a pot of boiling water, will it get softer? Uh, probably yeah. Cutting That's it. how normal potatoes are cooked. Is there an outback in the down under? <laughs> That's a good, I wonder if there are outbacks uh, If you're making in mashed potatoes or like a sweet potato pie. I make like sweet potato like the one that you kind of have in gut. Look at all the, look at all the advice you're getting about Do sweet potatoes. Do not boil unless matching. Yeah. See, did Minecraft guy leave because you like sweet potatoes? Because I want that. <laughs> you know what? It's roast like, beast? Roast beast. <laughs> not roast beast. <laughs> um, you can wrap in foil. I do wrap it in foil. That was my suggestion. And it put it really on the turns. grill. We don't have a grill. I don't know what to tell you about that. If you want to cook it right, you got to have the right equipment. Steam it. Full potato put in a steamer basket until a knife can go through it easily. Easiest way to, to cook a sweet potato is to cut it into wedges about one centimeter thick and then bake it with a little bit of spice and oil rub. I doused that thing in oil. I literally have no self-control. I just freaking poured it on there. So I think I had enough. <laughs> I also had to I Googled, I go, can aluminum foil set on fire? Because it was really cracking in there. <laughs> and it says, you Google, well, can we just back that up? You Googled, can aluminum foil be set on fire? It was crackling and I was kind of freaking out. Uh, but it has, to, it has to be at a thousand degrees. And my oven only goes to 500. Um, it's working. Yes, it is working. So that's a little beetle. And I actually want, I think we'll start over here. You can keep talking about sweet potatoes. Don't let me stop you. I grilled one at the park, um, dangling, and it actually turned out worse than the ones in my oven. So <laughs> I like how you went to the park to grill. Yeah, Ellen helped me make one, and it did not turn out good at all so what we're looking at right now is the severed head of a brood x cicada in the scm and i think it's working for you guys yeah okay good uh yeah you could go grill at the park that's actually a great idea they have a hibachi grills right I there just one and it turned out terrible the potato did you went to the and park the outside was crispy you went to the park you <laughs> put charcoal and lit it and let it get to the right temperature and then you just put the potato on the grill we also made did you roll it in aluminum foil and put it oil in there yeah well not oil i didn't put oil in it did you put aluminum foil on it i did that's why i wrapped it in and they also put fire starter on it whatever that stuff is the oil stuff they on the potato it. yes and i was like why would you do that i forget what it's called lighter fluid on my potato who put lighter fluid uh, on your potato Connor Tierney, he's the dude downstairs that presented with the chemistry people. I don't know mm -hmm. if that's safe. Can you... Yeah, I feel like that's not what you're supposed to Not how you're supposed to, to cook it. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why it tastes too bad. <laughs> I tried my best. Wow. That I believe. I'll have to try again. Obviously, <laughs> didn't know, didn't you know you need the guy? Don't tell me I forgot the guy. Okay, so, uh, this is a, a I brood. I already ate lighter fluid. You guys can't stop me now. This is a brood X cicada, and it was already dead. I didn't kill this organism. Uh, and you can see it's got a little bit of like crusty stuff here around the eye. Uh, I found it on the sidewalk. We went out exploring one day to see if we could hear the cicadas on campus, and they are here, but they are not nearly as uh, amazing as they were when we went to St. Mary of the Woods. And so if you're interested in seeing cicada's eye, we are at the lowest currently at the lowest magnification that my SEM can manage and uh, in order to look at things closely I normally get a lot closer 
So I'm going to move the stage up a little. It will limit how far out we can go, uh, but it will us get a little closer. And so now this is the lowest magnification we can do. Um, and we can zoom right in and take a look at one of the uh, eyes on the cicada. The other eye on this dead cicada became ruptured. What's going on? She told me what temperature I should cook them at. Oh, we're still talking about potatoes back there? Yes. <laughs> okay, it's fine. For how long? My mom makes really good for sweet how potatoes for how long? We got directions from your mom? Yes. You had to text your mom and I then... So she makes really good sweet potatoes, so I figured I should Maybe text her. I need to learn from her, because I cannot. My dad does too, but... You know... The easiest way is to wrap them in aluminum foil like a baked potato and cook for one hour at 350. One hour. And then squeeze it to see if it's soft. And then like it. with an oven mitt. And if it's 350 not, is like the lowest know, temperature your oven will really run time. at, I think. Also, I'll tell you why Outbacks are so indulgent. They're full of sugar and butter. Well, I do ask for extra. Um, extra butter or extra sugar or both? Everything. I literally click everything and I go, please give me more. Because I just pick it up at like the door. I literally just order sweet potatoes. Like, that's it. <laughs> it's the only way I can get them. <laughs> I also like to try them everywhere I go. Like Cracker Barrels, they put marshmallows on there. Theirs are really good. Theirs are good. Uh, do they mash theirs or they just make it? I've had the Alamos. It's not as good. Um, do they mash it? No, it's just like... You're not talking like a sweet potato pie. I'm talking like the one you cut in half. Just with a marshmallow on it? Yeah, marshmallow brown sugar, like caramel, I think was on it. It was good. Why did they gotta put so much stuff on it? It's already sweet. No. Yes, it is. I tend to avoid that from health. It's like a healthy dessert. I don't think it's healthy if you put a marshmallow on it. It's really good if you put maple syrup on it. I feel like... I feel like somebody shouldn't talk about the maple <laughs> syrup unless they're gonna bring the maple syrup in. You know, maybe we just need to have pancakes one day and then that gives me an excuse to bring some in. <laughs> just text your mom, she's right there, and say, you know, if I'm gonna get through the sure program with a good grade, I need maple syrup. I mean, I can just go Do you need and maple get syrup? It. I have maple syrup. What? Do you need maple syrup? No, my family needs maple oh, syrup. Oh, yeah, it I knew that. <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to bring us some bait, then it's fine. I brought some for Laura because she specifically asked, and then I just <laughs> kept forgetting. That, was that a bacterial colon? A bacteria colony? Colon, yeah. <laughs> a bacteria colon? I don't think they have colons. You put the T on, I got confused, but I think he was asking you. Oh, uh, it's possible. Um, I'm not sure what's on the outside of the eye of this thing because it's uh, it died before we got there, and so it probably started to get attacked by things. And so there probably are some bacteria growing on it. And there could also be, like, I think that's a mushroom spore, uh, if I were to guess. So there could be plenty of other things. I mean, looks like a mushroom spore. Uh, you know, we're at the really small scale. So sometimes the, um, the insects will accumulate like pollen or other kind of random things on the, uh, on the outsides of their body. And we picked it up off the sidewalk, so who knows what was, what was on it at the time. Um, but we were zoomed in on the eye, and um, cicadas actually have two big eyes that are compound eyes on the outside. Uh, we're on one of those. But if I move towards the middle here, um, what you'll see is that they actually have some more eyes. And most insects are this way. Um, they usually have three little eyes that are in the center of their head, and cicadas are the same way. Um, and these are usually like light sensor eyes, you know, one out of each side of the way that their head is, because they can't turn their heads. So this is usually where the light detection occurs. 
and then the usually the compound eyes that they have that are on the outside you know the big eyes that we see like these ones this one is ruptured as I mentioned um, those are usually for motion so uh, you can see this one this one broke before I got the uh, before I rescued the carcass from the sidewalk so um, you can see yeah like here's the inside of it right and here's the outside pretty cool um, and then cicadas have I guess this is some sort of like little chemical sensor antenna like thing English sandwich said would fungus on the be like cordyceps or different than that since it's so small um, I'm not sure uh, what might be growing on it because like I said we just found it on the sidewalk so um, and I definitely don't know what kind of fungus might live on a uh, on a cicada. So it probably happened after they died. But the and Mario said, if their main eyes are damaged for whatever reason, do their other parts compensate in any? <laughs> like uh, like Daredevil, if its eyes broken, then uh, it gets louder. Does it actually? No. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I think it died and then its eye was damaged, probably by somebody um, walking around on the sidewalk, kicking it or whatever. Um, or it could have been damaged uh, during its lifetime, but I doubt it. I think it was already sort of crunchy by the point that uh, the eye was damaged. So we're sort of zoomed in on the outside, on the sort of grill part of, uh, of the cicada, of its head. And um, the noise that you hear from cicadas doesn't actually come out of their mouth at all. And in fact, this isn't actually, I mean, it's sort of like a covering over the mouth area, but um, this isn't like a mouth. The mouth for the cicada is actually like a tube and it sticks out on the underside of their belly. And so they have sort of sucking mouth parts that it can extend into plants or whatever. Um, but uh, they can't actually bite. They don't have jaws that will allow them to, to bite things. It so. comes from their thorax, right? Yeah, it comes from the first segment of their abdomen, actually. So um, we looked at one in this uh, stereo microscope earlier, uh, maybe this like wait, a week ago. Does the sound come from the thorax? Yeah, it yeah. comes out from basically a little opening in the males under the wing um, in the first segment of their abdomen. So that really loud, whirring, buzzing noise that you hear that they make, um, that's where the sound is coming from. And I'm going to increase our image quality a little, and then I'm just going to get a shot of the sort of face, mouth face part, whatever this thing is called. I'm not an expert who studies uh, cicadas, by the way. Um, we just looked at them in the... Uh, in the stereo microscope and then I thought it would be kind of cool to look at it in the scanning microscope as well. I've been watching TikTok and people have been collecting cicadas and then cooking them on the stove and eating them. And how do you feel about that? Gross. I would not eat a nasty cicada and their little red eyes. Ugh. Nope. Uh, when I was in grad school for my PhD, there was a master's student there who studied insects, uh, went on to study insects. He wasn't studying them then. He was getting his master's degree and I was getting my PhD. Um, and he was from Alabama and he said when they have these giant cicada things that they would get a fry daddy and they would just throw yeah. the cicadas in the fry daddy and then they would just eat them. That's so I've, nasty. I've heard some people doing that. Where did Eleanor go? We've looked at a lot of things, Mario. We've looked she at... She just left. <laughs> what are some of the weird things that we've looked at just because we wanted to? We looked at hair. We looked at... That's hair, all the farther remember. you can get it is hair? I really like the hair. That was one of my faves. Um, I have kitty whiskers over here in an envelope. Hair, From uh, whiskers, Devil and Mrs. J, another streamer. We looked at... We tried to look at blood, didn't we? We did look at blood. Yeah. Um, we've looked at uh, butterfly scales and moth... Uh, moth parts all the moth parts including like the cocoons and the larvae and um 
and uh, like the entire Luna Moth collection, basically, that um, uh, was sent to us by Miss Daisy D, another streamer. And um, we do a lot of just kind of like, most of the time I'm looking at diatoms, I'm doing real analyses, or we're looking at um, material from Pacific Plankton's collection, but it's, um, it's mostly looking at diatoms and, and other organisms that live in, a, in water. But uh, we've looked at water bears. We've looked at... Um, water bears, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a pretty cool one. Um, new, new. All kinds of insects. Like and um, we had, I had like two weeks where I just looked at pollen, where I'd go collect the flowers, and then I would shake the pollen onto the stub and then basically put them straight into the SEM so you could see the plant, see the pollen, and then I'd prep it, sputter coat it, and stick it in the in the, uh, the SCM and we would look at it directly. Um, so part of the reason I'm looking at cicadas, obviously there's a big um, explosion of, uh, of cicadas in the sort of east coast and, uh, and a little bit into the Midwest, and they're here in Indiana. And um, I did a live stream on Fri Friday from St. Mary of the Woods, uh, where it was super loud and there were cicadas just all around covering all the trees and making super loud noise. And, um, and also, I have some other insects uh, that just happened to be uh, sort of stumbled on. Um, one of the things that we're going to look at today is centipede. And if I can uh, get all of these things imaged, we might go uh, try to load in the millipede and that other bug that I have. I have sort of a June bug. I think it's a June bug. And, uh, and then another bigger sort of fuzzy bug. Millipede. Um, and a millipede, yeah. Uh, from earlier uh, that were on my windowsill. You got those uh, off the windowsill? The cicadas we found in the sidewalk. The millipede my daughter collected uh, because she was out collecting centipedes because we actually got a, um, a request to look at centipedes and, um, and we wanted to fulfill that request. So some people use their micro authority uh, points to uh, direct us to, to collect something and take a look at it. This is cicada. When you sputter coat something, does it last? Yes. So the sputter coating is gold plating and um, it will stay on and we can just put stuff back in through the SEM after we've done imaging it and whatever else. Um, over a really long time, if it were stuck in the SEM, um, it would not. Um, eventually, it would, uh, we'd eat up all of the electrons, and, uh, but it would take a long time. We'd have to have it exposed for quite a while before that would actually happen. So. Let's We've never looked at silverfish, and I honestly didn't even know that they were real. You thought they were just a Minecraft organism? I just never... What, when am I... Where are they? Uh, any place wet where can there's... Can you see them? Can you see them with your naked eye? Yeah. Yes. Okay. wasn't sure if you were asking me if they were invisible or not. This is Mary. She is in the shirt program all of us. Who's asking? Micah. Oh, Micah's here. You didn't even say hi to him. I did. I, I texted it. Hello, Micah. Earlier, she was giving you a bunch of uh, guff for not being here, Micah. So okay. just pointing that out. Late to the party. Oh, you gave Micah a shout out for okay. what? He doesn't Just stream. For up. He doesn't stream. He only streams into the Discord said, channel. Yeah, I don't stream. I have That's a good point. Follower. Yeah, There's so the things. sputter coating process takes place over there in the sputter coater, and uh, uh, it basically just gold coats stuff. So I have some sputter coated material here. You can see these have sort of a goldish cast to them, maybe. Actually, it kind of looks a I'm little bit bronze. I'm gonna scrape it off, and we're gonna take it and sell it, the gold. You're gonna get rich yep. on, uh, on scraping gold 
from sputter coating and ripping pants. Entrepreneur, what can I say? Who needs college? When you rip the pants, does it just have to be the knees? Because I notice sometimes you have them all the way up to the thighs. Yeah, I can do those too. But what about below the knee? I can um, do that too if you'd like. Whatever, whatever you like, I can just rip. I can rip the whole pant leg off if you want. Could also try to find an earwig. Uh, yes, earwigs are nasty. Um, but they are found usually in similar places to silverfish, although typically earwigs are in like wet wood. So we'd have to find a log and then open it and kind of look around in there maybe. Um, as a thing we could look at. So right now we're looking at the compound eye and each one of the eyes made up these little tiny eye pieces. And as I mentioned, they're mostly used for, for motion. So when it's flying, it's trying to figure out gauge distance and motion. A rolled up piece of newspaper for earwigs. You know, since I've moved to Indiana, I've never seen an earwig here, but I've I used to see them all the time in Ohio. Also silverfish. All these things I've never seen. Yeah, someplace damp and shady, they'll, they'll climb into it. And especially papery. Good news, everyone. That's a, that's a good idea. Thank you. I don't know how that person's saying. You're supposed to just pretend to say it. Aki Ui. Thank you, Aki Ui. And then if you get it wrong, it's not that big of a deal. We made 2,000 followers. We reached that point last week. And then I only did like bird streams after that. Burb. Why do you put burb? I've been questioned. Why? Why what? Why burb? Why burb? Good Why, news, everyone. Burb Google bird. Thank you, King Penguin. Yeah, King Penguin. No, Thank no. you. No, no. Uh, Why burb? Can you explain? Do you, you mess up? Just Google bird. I'm not looking that up. It's Fun what fact. people call birds that are kind of like fluffy. Oh. They look silly. Burbs. There's also floof. It sounds cuter. Burb equals dad joke. There's also floof. Burb equals dad joke. There's a burb, there's a floof, and there's a borb. Borb? Yeah, if they're like this really like rounded. Meme. I figure you're talking about a meme right now. You need to Google it. I was looking for their apply button and I almost banned you accidentally. Haha, <laughs> should have. Just kidding. Birds with arms are the best birds, so. Yeah. Alright, this is a uh, cicada eye. And let's continue to explore our cicada. This is a, I managed to sort of, when I decapitated it, the corpse, rather, uh, you can kind of see what, what's going on is that um, just the head part was all that would fit onto the stub. So we got this weird sort of angle and you can see in the uh, chamber view below how big this thing is. Um, it's actually quite large on the SEM. So like the idea of trying to put the whole specimen on there is a bad one. Um, we can get nice and zoomed up on these like little chemical sensors that they have. It's a pretty uh, hairy, gruesome image. Looks like a what is that? wrinkly elephant trunk. What is it? It's the, the little sensors that they have. It's like how they smell. Um, why don't you tell everybody how you feel about cicadas? Cicadas are disgusting and they're absolutely terrifying. He doesn't believe that they came when I was younger, but when I was in softball, there were a ton of them, and one flew into my hair, and I've been scarred ever since. And I think they should all just pass away now, and just not come back for another 100 years. They're an important resource. For, why? What do you mean, why? What they're, do they do? They're a food source for birds. There's plenty of other ones. I watched a video on TikTok of them, someone feeding them to chickens. I think a, actually, when I was out at the, I went to Hawthorne. I agree. On Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Uh, no, no, I think it was Sunday. I went out and um, 
underneath the place where the blackbirds were, the red-winged blackbirds, there was just a little pile of cicada wings. They'd eaten the rest of it and left a little pile it's of like the wings. It's like popcorn. It's all their kernels left over. And one of the things you should think about is, one, it helps all those birds eat. But also think of all the other insects that aren't being eaten because the cicadas are so easy for the birds to get. So all of the other bird, all the other birds are, that are insectivores are probably going to do better. And then all of the, um, the other insects that aren't being eaten because the birds are feeding on the cicadas are probably going to do better. This is like the time of the year where all those other uh, like dragonflies and all the other insects are just coming out. And so they're hatching. And now they're going to be able to basically help repopulate all those ins those other insects, which are all important pollinators. Someone said our mic is quite static. I don't think it's the mic you're hearing. I it's think it's probably the buzzing machine over there. It's probably the it's our uh, vacuum. The I vacuum can talk louder. Pump. And also the uh, dehumidifiers. Probably. Yeah, that's true. Pacific is right. It's all fun and games until the birds start eating people instead. Also, there's a place in the world that has no mosquitoes. I don't remember where it's at. I think it's like New Zealand or something. There are lots of places with no mosquitoes. All you have to do Someone is get said, above a certain elevation. I wish mosquitoes would all die. Mosquitoes are also an important food no. resource for birds. They are. They're critical. In fact, they're an a major part they of the ecosystem. Don't eat they don't eat enough because there's too Bats many of them. Bats and birds, that's the primary thing that they feed on. Mosquitoes are extremely important. Just because they create a minor inconvenience for you doesn't mean that they should die. Minor inconvenience, severe inconvenience. I think it's minor. Climate change is expanding their range. Yes, that's true. Because oh, wait, I forgot. Someone asked a question. I just remember I was going to say. You have one job. Uh, I, you were talking while I was, the question came up. So would their sensors be akin to the Jacob organs in mammals? They're like noses for us. Um, that's the similar organ that they would be most like because our noses are chemical sensors, right? I mean, we don't think of them that way, but that's what they are. Um, also, while we're here, the uh, cicadas' forelegs are captured in our, uh, in the part that I chopped off. Yeah, they're chemo sensors. Our noses are chemosensors, that's ours. So if you were wondering like, oh, what's the comparable part? Look at its beautiful nails. Wow. Looking good, looking fresh. It got its nails did. It did. Right before it knew the stream. We so it prepared. Time to talk. We should get rid of birds too then. I would burn the world if it meant there were no mosquitoes. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, hexahexaflexagon. <laughs> well. <laughs> Read that with the grain of salt. <laughs> I feel like if you burnt the world to nothing, which we're aiming, you know, we're slowly aiming to do right now by accident anyhow, uh, it would get rid of the mosquitoes. It would create a problem for them. Uh, they don't handle fire very well. So. Ebola came from a bat, right? Well, Yes. Ebola was... Malaria comes from mosquitoes. Uh, that is true. Genetically modified mosquitoes have been GFDP, GFPD that can't harm us vectors have been introduced to the native populations areas with high malaria and dengue cases by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. No need to get rid of them. Hmm. Debatable. This is true. I lured Mary here with the promise of letting her use the SEM, so I'm probably going to switch over and let her do some of the SEM work here in a minute. It's okay. No, Mary, we need to see your skills. They aren't that great, and I've only used it like one other time. That's the whole do, point. You're going to do fabulous. <laughs> That's the whole Just point. Just make sure you go to the part. I think it's like the Y coordinate or rotation, and you need to make it like 10 or something. Which one is it? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Into the ceiling. Uh, don't do that. Is it tilt? Do not tilt. Tilt. 
Woohoo, Mary. Pacific, excited for you. Thank you. Have you ever met Pacific in real life? No. How that would I do funny. that? I don't know. I thought you've known her for a while. I've known her since August or July, whenever she started streaming and I was following her. <laughs> Go, Mary. Learn. Make mistakes. <laughs> break stuff. Learn the right way. <laughs> They're don't gonna judge don't break the don't break the SEM. They're gonna judge your SEM Everything skills. else is fine. You can make mistakes, just don't break anything. We should find a way to make all mosquitoes not spread stuff like West Nile. Then That's all How many people are watching? Twenty four. Thirty. What what? Mine says twenty four. The stream manager says 30. Twenty-five and six to four. <laughs> yes, that's yes. a good way of thinking of it, Mario. What does that mean? <laughs> we'll put the error around it. I don't know if it includes the bots. Stream manager includes bots. My man, he gets it. Why do you care how many people are watching? Does it matter to you? Fans. Just kidding. No. I was wondering. I was curious. Anybody have any good things about your week you want to tell? Something exciting happened? <laughs> you know, it kind of <laughs> seems like it. <laughs> just kidding. But. The first time she watched, she thought that Pacific was my wife. I was in diatom school. You know she's in San Francisco and I'm in Indiana, right? Like. Yeah, I don't know. I thought you guys actually knew each other. Like, hi, Whiskey. Been here to like do work. No. She wants to be famous. Yes, make me famous. Thank you, Micah. What What you should do is start streaming your own channel. What am I gonna stream? And it, do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter stuff. what you stream. Okay. Just stream the whole time talking about uh, about your ripped jeans, and. When the bots while. come in that ask you for big follows, click on those. They'll get you all the big follows. Click on those? Yeah. yeah. Implying you're not streaming to get world famous. Um, he is. That's why he says 2,000. Thank you. He's, cha yeah. he's clout chasing. I'm... Uh, his... It's exactly two weeks since I got my first shot of Pfizer. I'm, I'm only pretty well known hours. already. Uh, pretty, before I ever people. started streaming on Twitch, I'm just not known as a Twitch streamer. Uh, except for by the 2,000 people who follow me. <laughs> okay, we have uh, Cicada Claws from the Four Legs. And I think we're going to move to the next thing. Oh, congrats to the little shoehorse, by the way. What Pretty did they do? people get Pfizer. That's because I have it. So that's what they said on TikTok. So it's true. Pretty people get Pfizer. Yeah, let me guess. You've been doing it. Uh, I've had Pfizer for months now, long before you did. Well, sorry, you were the first. Long before you did. I did it before everyone. Before it was cool. Uh, Do you know what Before young mean? people got it, old people got it, and then I'm old. Okay. So... No, just today over 20. Okay, let's zoom over to sample number two, okay. which is... Do you know what uh, their claws are made of? Chitin. Titan. That's the stuff in um, DNA. Chitin. Not the same thing, right? Is chitin what DNA is made out you of? I don't think so. Or titan. Chitin. No, not the same thing. Chitin. The exoskeleton of insects is made of a substance called chitin. This is uh, the wing. It's hard to tell what's going on because we're a little too close. So I'm going to zoom out. There, now you can kind of see it. Their wings are they're so big, basically, you can hardly even see when we're zoomed in like that. And I think this is where it attaches to the insect but i Nothing detached is it impossible. Course, not if you can imagine it with the uh, the help of some forceps 
and then uh, I had to rip the back side of it in order to make it fit onto the stubs. So this stuff you're seeing back here, it looks like bubbles, is actually carbon tape, which is used to attach the wing to the stub. And then this is the, the rest of the wing down here. So you can see it's I had to be kind of rough with it to get it to stay on the, the stub. But we can zoom in really closely and look at this sort of... You attacked it? I did, of course. You murdered it? You said we don't uh, murder the It dogs. was already dead. The only ones that I uh, had to murder were the centipede and the millipede. You killed them? Well, I had to. Because I feel like it would have been a bad form to put them in the SEM while they were still alive. I think it'd be kind of fun. You might need to see help. You might need some help. Well, you murdered them, so I think you need more help than me. At least I was going to keep it alive. Mm, turn it back a little squish, a little compressed. I don't know if that really is a... Uh, you know what they said? Who's they? You're a sociopath. You did it, you did it for the fame. Look at you. I don't think that's true. I did it because somebody asked me to do it. Are those spikes on its wings? Yes, those are little spines on the wings. Um, and it's, in this case, they're on the, uh, the leading edge of the wing. So the outside edge has a sort of a thickening around it and that's the, uh, the part of that with the thickening. And we've seen this on other insects um, that we've looked at, bees and whatnot, um, where they have sort of little hairs or spiny hairs on the wings. And we actually did a little Google search to try to figure out, like, why would you need spines on your wings? And um, it's, I think it's largely so they can feel the wind. Is this a cicada? Yes, this is oh, a cicada's is. wing. I think it's largely so they can feel the wind um, on the wing itself, and also it gives a little bit more resistance so that um, a little bit more surface area, so it, it may actually enhance their ability to fly a bit. Just trying to find a nice focal height, and then we'll take a picture. Yeah, so we saw that on. Um, we saw that on bumblebees. I mean, their legs are obviously covered with a bunch of hairs, which Good is where news, the pollen everyone. and stuff gets trapped. But their wings also have these little spines on them, like hairy spines. And, yep, like the flaps on airplanes, basically they give them a little bit more uh, surface area. And I think it actually allows them to... It's fashionable, yeah. Mind of a snail. Um, allows them to get a little bit more resistance when they're trying to, to fly. I don't know if you've ever seen cicadas fly. Um, they are actually really terrible at it. Uh, I, they usually don't fly. Well, they have wings. I know, but I watch people just pick them up. Like, they don't even try and fly away. They're not very adept um, at escaping. And they... They're kind of dull. Well, flying is not the most important part for them. So they hatch out of the ground, and, uh, and then they molt. And then... Um, and then they... Um, they just climb to get to something high. And Their lives are very... It's going to be mean. Pointless. What is the point? Be that's just it. They, they hatch, then they breed. You just make more, and that's it. But that is sort of the point for life. Yeah, but... I don't break it down for you, but most it's organisms not don't have, benefit like... benefit society. That one does not benefit society. It does, though. It's important to the ecosystem. We already talked about this. I guess you're right. For the burbs. Yes. Just, <laughs> just like, like everything this. else. It's the circle of life. And as long as we're talking about Hakuna Matata, I have not seen that movie either. <gasps> You've never seen The Lion King? I have not. That's actually sad. Like It's not sad. I'm going to tell Sylvia that she has to make you watch it because... What? Mufasa? Nope. Come on, Never Nala? watched it. Nope. And the songs are... Amazing. We are all eventually fungus food anyway, I agree. Not me. Not oh, really? Me. Freeze dried. Gonna come back. Shoot you into the sun. I'm gonna be hanging out with Walt Disney. Him and his frozen head. Uh, that is actually a myth. You know, he's buried under Disney. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
I haven't seen Lion King since I was a kid, but it's like I'm gonna watch and get the true flood and nostalgia. Hey, guillotine girl, how are you doing? Uh, can we oh, give her a shout died. out? Your phone died? Yeah. Too much talking on it. Yeah. Sorry, I had to look at the right period. Uh, the myth uh, that uh, Walt Disney's head is frozen. No, that doesn't connect to the internet. Fine. Sorry, I had to look for the right word. The thing I thought of when I saw the hairs on the leaning edge of the wing was vortex generators. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I will just do the shout out. There you go. Um. Keating girl, you can escape by being eaten after death, but you can't escape by being a container for billions of microbes low key. Oops. Control you. Yeah, that's true. The gut microbes. Oh, you did one. Okay, sorry. Can the one with the cardigan do the recently divorced mom move? What's the recently divorced mom move? What? I don't think that's a cardigan. It's a sweater. Stuff. That's a sweatshirt with a zipper. And her name is Mary. Shout out to my gut microbes. I really appreciate you. <laughs> exactly. The gut microbes control you. Uh, Low-key control you. She's absolutely correct. This is a cicada wing. And uh, what is the divorced mom move? I, I don't know. I'm confused. Okay. Okay. I was just checking. I didn't know if it was like... There's something here that I didn't understand, so. I'm looking at my laptop. You know, dangling about 80% of what she says, I don't quite get, so. The wing is otherwise kind of boring. You can see the veins uh, that run through the wing here pretty clearly, except for the one parts that I mangled, of course, putting it on the SCM. And you can see that those uh, leading edge sort of whatever ridge has uh, hairs all the way down the length of it as well, right here. And one of the things that we saw on the uh, on the bumblebees when we got really close and looked, it's like scales. It looks like a dragon right now. Uh, is that for bumblebees, the spines or the hairs are kind of curled. Um, like a spiral, which I thought was kind of cool. That's an old stream, of course. She should find out what happened to Eleanor. I think she went to go work on her, her stuff on the microscope site. Of oh. I think it looks dragony, don't you? You have a different perception of what dragons look like? I mean, not necessarily. It just looks kind of like a snake to me. A snake with, like, horns? Yeah. I, I guess a dragon, yeah. I think that's what a dragon is. I'm just going to throw it out there. Maybe. It has wings. Actually, it is a wing. Uh, okay, I think that's good. We'll take that picture. And then we'll move on, because uh, the wings are kind of boring, as I mentioned. So. <laughs> you have an insect's fashion sense. Uh, is it a brood executed? It None is. Um, I don't remember the different names. The, the genus for, uh, for the brood ex um, cicadas is magic cicada. Magic cicada, um, like the word magic and cicada put together. And um, I think this is the smallest one of those, Whiskery. When we were looking at them, they all look really similar. They have like a black body. You can't see color, of course. And then red eyes and um, kind of like orange trim. Their legs are orange or orangish yellow and the veins on their wings are kind of an orange yellow color and um, and then they just have different sizes 
the ones that are here that we found that are most common on campus, which this one I think belongs to, is the smallest. Um, I don't remember the name of the smallest one, but it was like the, there was a size series and it was really tiny. Um, we have sort of annual cicadas that show up here towards the end of, or late in the summer. And um, this is like half the size of one of those. So it looked really small. It's bite-sized if you're a bird, you know, perfect for little birds. So. I brought my egg to show you. Uh, when you say I brought my egg to show, did you mean, oh, okay. For a moment I thought, I thought you, they can see. I thought you meant your head. Huh? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can add cicadas to the list of animals we can refer to as pointy boys, yes. Um, you're special to the stream. Yes, you're special. That's the way I like to think of you, dangling. You're special. You have to run and make lunch. I wish I had lunch. Uh, instead, I didn't. Why didn't you eat? Because I was working on the SEM, and then I was working on the SEM, and then the stream started. And so cereal. Here I'm on the SEM. So. You want a cicada jacket? Just like with scales? That would be amazing. Good um, news, everyone. Thank you for the follow, Snake ID. Snake ID? Snake ID? Snake eyed? Snake ID? I think it's something like that. Uh, Barnsima50. Hello. Snake I D I Y. <laughs> I I D I. Okay. Snake idea. Uh, cicada wing number two. Okay. Looks like dragons. I'm gonna make it look like dragons in Photoshop later. It's gonna look a lot more like a dragon, and then everybody will agree with me, even Mary. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think on slide uh, step three we put the. Uh, Oh yeah, this is a, a claw, the front claw from one of the molts of the cicada. And then this is one of the legs uh, from the living, well, once living uh, adult cicada out here. Um, as I mentioned, they're orange colored and their molts are also orange colored um, or brown. And I think when they first hatch, the cicadas come out white and then they bake basically. Um, and so this is from the molt, these claws. Uh, you can see they have big lobster-like claws when they're in their uh, early stages and they need them because they dig through the, the sediment in order to burrow to make holes um, to get out. And then after they're on the surface, when they switch to their adult form with the, uh, with the wings, they don't need claws anymore, so they don't have these big claws in the adult form. Like the one that we saw was the foreleg, and the claw becomes the foreleg. So, um, and this is sort of cool. It's got a little row of hairs on it as well. Again, probably just to, for sensing a little bit on what's going on around them. And I'm going to image the whole thing like this, because I think that looks kind of cool. And I'll crop it later so it's just the part we're interested in. And then I want to zoom in and look at the claw has like a little tentacly bit sticking out. Um, Getting messages. Somebody's popular. I'm so popular all the time. Also, I think it's time to turn over the SEM to Mary. So we can put her front and center and force her to talk to people. Oh. That's not my thing, though. Talking to people's not your thing? No, not really. Yes, you know, Mary. Don't lie. 
Talk about maple syrup. What you can do is make Rihanna do all the talking because that's her <laughs> there thing. There we go. Am I in the stream? <laughs> now I'm in the back seat. Uh, I left you in charge after I took the first picture, so you had plenty of time to move it. Do you remember the controls? Vaguely, but I know one of these moves like in and out, but I don't. That's about it. Top one is magnification, okay. which moves you in and out. The bottom one is focus. Okay. And then to reposition things, you want to use the middle mouse button and click, and it will move whatever you click on to the center. This one? No. On this one. Oh, the this one. Mouse. Okay, okay. Yeah. Also, everyone is saying hi to you, Mary. Hi. <laughs> Mary is currently a senior. Yes. That's true, right? Yes. And Mary's yeah. in the 4 plus 1 program, which is our accelerated master's degree which means that this year she gets to be partially a graduate student and partially an undergraduate student and take graduate level classes. And next year she will be a graduate student in her program. Yep. And then she will graduate with her undergraduate and her master's degree in five years. Yep. And what else about Mary? Mary's um, family makes maple syrup. Yes. We already covered that. Yeah. Mary went to the, to I went to the dunes this weekend. Yeah. That oh, was the one. Indiana dunes? Yeah. The national park? Yep. She oh, the state hole. park one. She dug a hole and tried to capture some people with it. That's not true. Mm -hmm. I did, my fiance and I dug a giant hole in the ground, and he's 6'1", and it was up to his hips, so. And it's a very large it. hole, she and we filled it in after in. we she, left, she so people. She did fill it back in. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> a big project. A three-foot hole. Yeah, uh, it was pretty impressive. Okay. You I can hit just okay? call it the uh, molt claw. Molt claw. Click leave it okay, there. Hit okay, okay first, and then in this one you can leave the cicada on the front and just write molt claw. Mm. Or whatever you want. Now I usually just write some gibberish in there that I don't understand. You have to sort Is of that right? It's oh, that's enough. good. You just have to read it phonetically with, uh, with Mallory too. Cause the spelling. <laughs> okay. I'm really bad at spelling, so that's fine. If you look at this, what do you think it so is? So close the picture. That's a diacon. What kind? Particular. Um, so, so now what? Look right between the uh, the claw and the, the first segment of the claw. How do I do this so it's four? Okay. And right between the first segment of the claw. Right here. Sorry, that's the. I would think of it as that's the last segment. The first segment would be the side that's closest to where the body would be. This part. Yeah. Okay. So go towards the top. There's sort of like a bunch of little hairy things coming out. Right here? No. In the next one over. <laughs> that one. Right this there. one, right those here. Hairy things. Okay. Just zoom in on so. that claw part with the little hairy things because I think those look kind of cool. Zoom. Like cool Which one? Zoom ones. again? <laughs> so mouse middle, mouse click okay. to get it centered. That was oh. the right click. That's double, yeah. That was a double left click. Actually. Did not double do. Click. <laughs> His nails for us. Okay. Double click. He's looking crusty. Do a double click. Oh no. Do a double click, Mary. You got this, Queen. A double normal click. So click it twice. Hang on. There you go. There we go. So now yeah. use the middle mouse button and click once where those little hairs are coming. There yes. we go. And now use the top mouse wheel or top wheel on the uh, zoom in. You're doing it. Okay. You can't go faster than that. You look These cute. things? Aren't those cool? Yeah. Like little hairs coming up. So zoom in real close so we can see them. And then get that in focus and then zoom out and we'll compose a picture. The this one's are. focus, right? Yeah, the bottom wheel is focus. Okay. And how, just like turn it? Yeah, just turn okay. it. If you double click, it'll make that little box, and then you can focus what's in the box a little bit easier. If you scroll the wheel, you can make it faster or slower so you can see it. Is that more in focus? It looks like it. Uh, now double click and get rid of the box, and then zoom out and compose a picture.
So either those things standing by themselves or zoom out so we could maybe see like the claw nubs. Oh wait, you said zoom out. Let's zoom out. Yeah. I don't know if we want to go that far. Yeah. And then maybe down a little so that the claw nub is visible. Up at the top. Good. Is that good? Sure. Is that what we want a picture of? Yes. Now set the speed. It's seven. seven. And the beam intensity is already seven. So you can just go from here by clicking the picture button, which is the... This one, yeah, right? That's it. Now you're a pro. I have so many points. I have 4,900. Channel points? Yeah. Well, that's good news, I guess. What's Wednesday on the mic? That's uh, to put the cat on the microscope. Um, and then you can, if you want to okay. see what people are saying, you can click to okay. this. Oh, Wednesday. That one. Cat. Okay. Wednesday's my cat, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, it's, um, just like it has on the wings, they have little bits of hair sticking off of their body so they can sense things around them. And, uh, I'm gonna guess that this, think about, like, if you were in a pile of dirt, and that's the way you were born, and you got to find your way to the surface. You need to be able to like sort of sense what you're clawing through. So um, those are the little sensory hairs that they have all around their bodies, and um, and this is from the you know the larval stage while they're they start off underground. And I saw something that said that they can be as far as ten feet underground. They can actually be really deep into the ground. Um, where they, they have to sort of dig their way out. You know how we could have stopped this? Stopped what? The coming of the cicadas. We could have went in the ground, dug them all up. We had 17 years to do it. And then they would have never sprouted, came back, terrorizing us. I feel like that's not how that works, but... They're yeah. in the ground if I just capture them all. I think that should be your mission. Capture all cicadas. Yeah, start and now. And then they'll be extinct once you get them all. Start now. And see if you can get okay. them all up. I'll get up. them before they crawl back in the ground. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Hexa, Hexa, Flux kind of agrees with me, so we can work on this together. The two of you can work on it. See if you can get all of them dug up. We only got to go to a few countries, you know? Just a few. No. Uh, these are... I don't know if they're into Canada, actually. Are they only in America? This brood X is only in the eastern part of the U.S. It would be America. They are in America, but they're in the eastern part of the U.S. At least we're not in Australia and have the most gigantic spiders I've ever seen in my entire mm -mm. life. I don't do spiders. I would just tell you, though, that um, while the adult cicadas are harmless to humans, and they don't look scary at all. The larval stage looks very scary to me because they have these giant claws and they move like sloths. They're like super slow moving. Do you know like how creepy that looks? I'll help, I'll help you if you buy me a plane ticket. See, there you go. Yeah. Is it done now? Yeah, and then just hit okay. Put a two at the end or something, it's fine. Just so the file doesn't overwrite the other one. And then you can, I think we can move to the next one. The next stub? Unless you, oh, or, no, there's the no. other leg. If you move up. The fact that some of these people have like thousands of viewers watching them. You mean besides it? us? Yeah. Or you mean thousands of viewers watching them at one time? It's a recommended channel, yeah. What are we looking at again? The leg. This one? That's uh, actually no. the end of its claw. It has a claw at the end of its claw, if you were wondering. Um, that other thing right there is- This? A, that's a, yes, that's the leg of an adult. That fell off while I was uh, ripping its upper body apart to put it on the SEM stuff. So I just thought we could zoom in and take a look at the leg hairs and or knees or any part you in here. You know what I've been waiting for? I can't help but wonder, what is it you've been waiting for? The millipede! Is he on We there? took the millipede out because you, didn't, you thought it was too juicy. It is too juicy, but that's the one I wanted to see. 
Um, is there only cicada on here? No. There's also a centipede and a centipede works and a, too. And a beetle. Centipede works. Quick spider crawl in your peripheral vision. Mm. I'm not a fan of spiders. Okay. But cockroaches are pretty gross. Those ones freak me out a lot. I just got a message from Laura. What'd she say? And she said she feels like there should be more snow at the Sierra Nevada, but she just landed in Reno. Oh, she's, she's in the picture. She's in Nevada? Let me see. Also, she wanted me to tell people who were here visiting cool. that she said hi. So, uh, but not you, Daniel. They don't like each other? <laughs> wow. That's a pretty picture. Do we pay, does this, this, like, not we, does What's school, coming out of your mouth here? Does the school pay for her flight? Currently, her flight for this trip is being paid for by the University of Kentucky, but only through a research grant That's cool. to Dr. Mike McGlue. That's awesome. Who even? Yes, Mary, get in on those pores. <laughs> Make it self-conscious. Well, it's legs fell off when I ripped it in half, so I feel like maybe it's not very conscious. Yeah. Self or otherwise. Yeah. Imagine putting like a black head strip on that thing. Just <laughs> ripping it out. <laughs> this is the content we brought Rihanna here for. Black head strips. Look at this. It'd be really good though. Like, look at this. Those pores are looking thick. Definitely. Imagine if someone cut off pores. my skin and did that. I'd feel pretty self conscious. That's a really nice photo you have right there. Just get that focus perfect. Nope, that's too much. Did you see Eleanor when you were in there? When you went to the lab, Brianna? Yeah. What's she doing? She oh, didn't want to hang out on the stream with microscope. us? She's on a microscope. She's in there being working, being productive. Yeah. There's not so many pictures you can take, but... What? I said there's not so many pictures she can take. That's yeah. not true. I feel like our samples are pretty scarce. She oh, could be so. taking pictures forever. I found... Not I think sure. it's... I thought it was Simple Fleur, but I think it got moved to Sorella. The SEM image that you had, I found an action, one on the light microscope. Just one, though. Okay. Uh, who are you saying bye to? Um, I don't know. A few people were leaving, so I kind of just like oh. gave a general goodbye to them, and I kind of looks like I'm leaving. But <laughs> I thought maybe you were leaving. No. Also, I agree. We'll just chop off a layer of my skin and we'll just have both. One without a blackhead strip and then one with. I'll sacrifice my skin. We can look at it. Okay. We can sputter my face. Oh, Keith and Girl said she'd like to see something pre and post blackhead. I am not leaving. I was saying goodbye to the people that were leaving. It was kind of like um, deceiving the way I said it. Yeah, what we could do is... Uh, Are we going to chop off my skin, actually? We'll just put one of the blackhead strips on your skin and we'll pull out some of your blackheads and we'll look at those. That's actually a good idea. That's not a good idea. I think it'd be fun. Kind of gross, but fun. Maybe not mine. A little self conscious. Definitely yours. No. <laughs> Definitely. It was your idea. Definitely yours. No. What else can we take out of us that we can just look at in the microscope? Let's take our earwax and look at it. That doesn't <laughs> sound pleasant. Nope. I think it sounds kind of cool. Interesting. It's for science. That's not going to look good. It's for science. It's not going to look good at all. It would be weird if it was all full of pollen or something. That'd be weird. Yeah. 
we can take our belly button lint, put it in there. Probably it's just gonna look like a blob, though. It wouldn't be very interesting. Compared to, like, what Mary has for us right now. It's a good picture, Mary. Oh, no, Thank you. Me, you did a great job with this. Thank you. We could take some uh, of your foot yeah, fungus. Yeah, that, that's a... Uh, whiskery, that's a, a result of the... Um, the sample specimen is charging a little bit. Um, it's probably because it has all these spines, and the spines actually create problems as the beam goes across it. So, yeah, there's little tiny holes in the hairs, um, but the spines create sort of like an artifact from the scan when, it, when the beam goes across it, basically, and uh, creates that kind of a, a, a horizontal line that goes across the image. That happens all the time. What kind of monster are we looking at? Headshot specialist. This is a um, this is the leg of a cicada from the Brood X, and we don't have to stay on the legs any longer if you're done with it. Yeah, no, we can go straight to the millipede and I'll look at that. You want to look at the centipede? Yeah, centipede. Sure. Is that on here? That's on number four. Oh yeah, millipede time. Centipede time. Centipede time. <laughs> that looks like a robot. Uh, it's a centipede. It looks like a robot made out of metal. Mary's lost control. I did. Double click, Mary. There, there we go. go. <laughs> that's a look, little scary. Is that its face? It looks like <laughs> it's screaming in pain. Look at that thing. Uh, that's the claws around look its mouth. Look at it. Looks like its eyes are squinting <laughs> and it's screaming. It's going. <laughs> Get me out of the vacuum. This is what you get from murdering it. I hope that lives in your nightmares. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> Maybe. Centipedes are nightmares for some people. That's Mary's true. just going right into its mouth. The human centipede. She's like, what does it look like if I go right into its <laughs> mouth? Get its eyes in there, Mary's. Actually, I think its eyes are on the other side of its body. So yeah. You're just seeing antennas in what seem to be looking a little bit like eyes. Of death. <laughs> That's a little scary. <laughs> uh, they say that when you're in a vacuum, nobody can hear you scream, but we can hear them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we had a request to look at the centipede, and it was Shafard, I think. Uh, Commander Shafard, I think, had requested it. Uh, let me see if I can, I need to, uh, redeem, fix the redeem for that. So this was a, uh, a viewer request. Uh, let's see. Um. I want to see its body. It looked like a robot. Its body looks like a robot? It does. That face, though, from far away. I just can't. Oh, that's not what Are I you going to do one where we can just see its face, Mary? Do what? Can we get its head? Yeah. I've headshot heard, specialist. I've heard this made Mary run away from the face. Just a, a shot of its whole head like that. Or closer. If we can. It literally is screaming. Have you seen the <laughs> Disney short where the mom is like, her son is like a po, like a, a bow? What? Anybody know what I'm talking about? That's what it looks like. Zoom in if any of and then work on the that. focus when you're really close and then zoom <laughs> out and take the picture. We're in its mouth! <laughs> it was closer before. Right there. And you got super tight. Now back out. Yeah. This is what my driver's license actually looks like. That's not the right way. Mary keeps wanting to put us right into its mouth <laughs> every time. Does it even brush its teeth? I don't, I don't think, think so. It does. does it brush its teeth? It doesn't have teeth, does it? Looks like it. Okay, this is a micro authority request by Commander Shafard. And I can mark this one as complete. Oh, they used coins for it? Yes. Oh. And 
I think we had Wednesday on the mic before. And they're not even here. Well, you know what? They come by all the time. Um, and they will see it when they come next time. So it will be okay. I'll just remind them. In the meantime, I am going to give a shout out to Commander Shafard. Chef Ard. I think it's just Chef. Yeah. And um, they mainly stream video games and uh, not cooking. But I think they cook in their day job. So. They quit their day job? No, they cook for their day job. Oh. And uh, I'll have you know, in order to get this thing on the stage this way, I had to put it on the little stereo microscope over here on the other side of the room. And I moved its antennas so that they weren't covering its face. You made its face like this. I flipped it over. And I did. I you went did in this and I, to it. I tweaked its face so it looks like it's screaming just for you. Right? Yeah, I could tell. I it's wanted terrifying. to make sure that you felt like it was in pain. It was. They were just talking about how animals can feel pain. Same as us. See, headshot says, I approve of that headshot. I think you should post it. I think it's cute. Caption, new profile pic. I'm going to turn it sideways so that it's head up. And then I'm going to put on there, like, I want to live in Rihanna's hair. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> that project that I did for Dr. Spear. We had to, I had to put all of the little bugs that I found on an SEM stub, and there are some that look like this. You had to position them? Yeah, it wasn't Did fun. you use a little probe? Yeah. Or did you just use tweezers? Um, I used like a, it does like the things that we used in, um, with Dr. Yost that we turned the microscope with. The, the probes. Yeah, yeah we used probes. one of those. It looks like its arms are flailing, you're right. It looks like it's going, hi yeah. It kind of does. It does. It looks like it fell right onto the stub, and then it shattered the stub behind it. It reminds me of the little Poe boy from the Disney Shore. <laughs> Looks just like him. Another good shot, Mary. Thank you. Um, A murder you, scene, yes. Do you want it named under cicadas, or is it going you somewhere? You can leave it uh, under cicadas. That's just a note. Okay. And then for this part, just change it to centipede. Or centipede face. Something like that. Be creative. Okay. Show off That's your creativity in naming. Is it D-E or T-E? Centi. C-E-N-T-I-P-E-D-E. -E. Okay. Centipede. Now you can just explore our little robot friend as much as you like. I want to see its segment. Do you want to zoom us into its mouth or onto its antennas or down to the some, segmented oh, body yeah. parts? They said we need some detective work. We need to figure out how this thing died. I'm the antenna is all like fuzzy over here. Covered with the junk. So, my um, my daughter collected these from the backyard. <laughs> you have to go look at stuff under a boring regular microscope? Okay. And uh, Mario says, good job, Mary. Thank you. Are you streaming from a regular microscope, uh, Mario? Are you, are you streaming it or are you just looking at it? say we have this squad command where I list people who do microscope streaming and uh, if you're streaming from a microscope let me know and I'll add you to it so people can give you a follow. Mm -hmm. We should follow you anyway but uh, in case, just in case uh, I'm gonna just pictures you took okay. You should Maybe consider should. Ooh, 
look at the texture on the in between this, this sort of spines that's like hexagonal and reticulate. They look like little flowers. Cool. Hexa Hexaflexagon says, apparently I've been following you since August last year. Way before. Oh. I don't remember you, Hexa Hexaflexagon, but I've been here for a week. Then we shot the stream last August. I think it technically it started in July. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wasn't really streaming from the SCM regularly until August. When uh, the semester started. So, did you take that picture? No. Are you I'm thinking. To? I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Debating it. Yeah. Is that in its crease? That it's like on the one antenna. Just on the antenna. antenna. That was kind of clumpy. I'll follow you yeah. back. Hexahexaflexagon. Yeah. There's like a really cool motif on the surface. I think I did that right. Looks like flower petals. I found the stream only a few weeks ago. What the? They were following you before they followed us. You're famous. <laughs> one of your ten followers. I think I have one follower. Oh. Maybe Hexa Hexa Flexagon's actually secretly your boyfriend in disguise. <laughs> what if it is? That'd be embarrassing. And now you're following them. Oh no. Not again. How many? Do I really only have one follower? If you want the latest in ripped jean fashion and non hat <laughs> wearing, you should follow Rihanna. No, only one follower. Is it Hexa Hexa Flexagon? Is your, <laughs> your boyfriend, boyfriend Swedish? Swedish? <laughs> My boyfriend's Swedish? Ex boyfriend. She doesn't have a boyfriend right now. He's dead to me. He passed away. Swedish dead. Same thing. No, he's a little ginger boy. No offense to gingers. Wow. Just offense to him. <laughs> they, they want to know if your next boyfriend could be Swedish. <laughs> they could be. Anything could happen. If you fly here from Sweden and help her dig up <laughs> cicadas, <laughs> For 17 it's years. a love story in the making. That is definitely a love story right there. And we'll become world renowned cicada murderers and we publish a paper on it. Yeah. You can wear ripped jeans together. Yeah. You can rip them. Digital can, seahorses, can you gingers, all or foxes. Say hex, 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 flex, gone. Hex, 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 flex, gone. <laughs> hex, hex, flex, gone. Say hex, hex, flex, gone really fast. It's a, a centipede, not a millipede. Yep. You're off by an order the of magnitude. The centipede has eczema. Hey, say hex hexaflexagon really fast. Hexa hexaflexagon. That really wasn't fast. fast. Say hex hexaflexagon, <laughs> comma, <laughs> really really fast. Hexa hexaflexagon, <laughs> comma, really really fast. We're killing bugs together. Can we give him an arson while we're at it at least? Just slow. Oh, she's like, come on over. <laughs> we'll dig up bugs. And then we'll set boy set my ex boyfriend's house on fire together. That, eczema, sounds like eczema, a, that eczema does sound like a date. <laughs> Word of warning, though, Arthur is not an, is an acceptable relationship ending up on these posts. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mary, if your husband ever does anything, you let me know. If you start, <laughs> to, uh, um, if you start a relationship with Rihanna, you better make sure you finish it. You better make sure you got a fire hose out. ready. That's right. I don't think I spelled that right, but it's okay. <laughs> gingers are foxes. That's what digital I think digital seahorses into gingers is what they're saying. I mean, that's my fiance is like. a ginger. Sorry, Mary. Like a really, like gin, like really ginger. Yeah. <laughs> it's there, okay. It was only offensive to the one. Is there something that's not ginger? Is there like a Here. fake ginger, faux ginger? Um, some people have strawberry blonde, but they say that they're gender, ginger, ginger, oh, okay. and it's like really not. Well, yours can be the, what's the word? Um, Exception? Yes. But not my ex, sorry, he has to burn. 
Yeah, zoom in on those segments. I want to see them. This? Yeah, I want to okay. see. It looks like a robot. Covered with hairs, as always. Ooh, look at that. He's got hex. See, maybe all bugs are actually just robots. Like, look at the hexagons in their skin. Well, I think bugs are kind of robots. Really? Yeah. So are birds. Birds not. Bugs, yes. <gasps> the birds were all killed. <laughs> What's that one saying? See what I'm talking about? <laughs> the birds were all killed. I don't remember what it is. It looks like Mind of the Snail has summoned a fireball. Birds are drones. Can confirm. Hey, hey Sherna's not... here. Hello, Sherna. Is this good enough for you? you? Yeah, it looks okay. good. Look at that skin. It's literally made out of hexagons. That's not real. Fake. What's going to, I guess? Robots. Can bugs be gingers? I hope not. Just I not. don't think so. I don't know. If, uh... If Welcome. you're not following Asherna, you should. So she does really great streams. She does some gaming streams, and then also she does. Uh, is she in here? Yeah. Oh. She does this uh, glass blowing. Uh, Whenever or, you add friend, does that follow you? No. A friend means they can see what you're doing on Twitch. That's kind of creepy. I didn't know that. And following somebody means that when they stream, you will see a message pop up from them, or you. I guess you can turn off the alerts. I didn't mean to add you as a friend, but it's okay. I'm doing pretty good, Asherna. We're uh, we're looking at the bugs. Somebody had requested that we look at centipede, and so we're looking at the centipede. And we also looked at a cicada from the Brood X uh, group, and um, we looked at the eyes and mouth and the the uh, the wings, the legs. We've been all over it, and now. Have Mary here is uh, helping us look at a centipede. This is a centipede laying on its back, and uh, we got a good shot of its head. And now we're looking at its skull, its little, body segments. Oh, that's its body. It's a little dented. It's like the 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 very side of it. It'll be recorded if you want. Uh, you know, the cicadas are so big that seeing them in the SM is kind of a challenge. Because they uh, had to cut off its head and then uh, pull yeah. some of the legs and wings off in order to fit those parts in separately. Murderer. Chopping them up into little tiny pieces. Well, normally I let Mallory do it. He had a family. Also, I think maybe this thing flips over halfway. So we might be able to see the back The way side. It's, all its legs are positioned the same is kind of wild. Yeah. That's more of a butcher. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Sharon is sort of broadcast late at night. Oh, look at the texture. Can you zoom in on the body? Yeah. That hexagonal scale texture. It depends the on the bug. One. Depends on the bug. It's reticulate. That's cool. Oh, keep going. Uh, I thought there was some sort of texture on the surface as well, but now we're zoomed in on the uh, spines. Yeah. Oh, there is. This. That's interesting. Why? Can you focus the on that? The same question. Like, I should have just asked a question about that. What's that? Um, if the hexagonal shape of the centipede is for similar reasons that hexagons are formed when basalt pools or the permafrost <laughs> permafrost created pattern topography. Yeah, the uh, uh, drying of mud cracks also has a similar shape. It's because it's 120 degree angles associated with cooling or desiccation. That's really weird. But I don't think that's what's going on here. I think that I think these it's are... A robot. I think that... Uh, it, it could check. be a robot. You can zoom out. I just wanted to see okay. what that structure was. It's the honeycomb neat. conjecture states that the hexagonal tiling is the best way to design surface into regions of equal area with the least total perimeter. That's what somebody said. Oh, that was just great. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, is any one of you scared of bugs? That's what. Uh, I said it depends on the bug. Cicadas? Yes, I'll beat them up. You're afraid of cicadas. And as long as we use the term bug and we're not being very specific because centipedes are not insects. Are you scared of centipedes? No. But Mary said she was afraid of spiders. Yeah, I don't like spiders. I'm not afraid of any bugs that I know of. I mean, the ones if they're in big and menacing and poisonous, I stay away from them, but I'm not scared of them. Uh, bugs don't bother me. Actually, I like to get nice, close photographs of them with my um, my macro lens on the camera. Let's get a tarantula and cut it up. That's actually a cool shot, just like with its legs. Yes. Because the legs make little squares. Like they'll, they fold back into these little mm -hmm. squares. Spiders aren't insects either. Eight legs. I know. I didn't know said bugs. It's an arachnid. Yes, of course. Scientist, biologist. Oh, you're throwing that out as a fact or you're reading it? No, as a fact from me. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, I, that was too much. I had this... Uh, a forest harvestman that was in the car after we were out looking at the cicadas and uh, everybody kept calling it a spider because the daddy long legs people are like ah a spider and I was like it's actually not a spider what is it forest harvestman they have their own group oh I didn't know that harvestmen have one fused body piece so if you look at them they look like you know like a balloon I with don't legs like them. you don't like them no they're I know they're harmless but those things too long, too creepy. Also, if you look, they only have two eyes. Spiders should have eight eyes. And they might have four eyes if they're, two of them might be fused together, but they don't have eight. And they don't have like an abdomen and a head. They got it's nothing, all, like, they're it's literally all one, one circle. Yeah, like one blob. We should get one of those, because I kind of want to look at it. This is one circle body. That's a real egg. Well, we could. The egg of all spiders. We could look at one of them on the SCM. I think they would be kind of interesting to look at as, compares to, as compared to a spider. See, I didn't know that about Daddy Longlegs either. I thought they were a spider, and um, I didn't know they were just one chunk. They're just one circle. Sounds kind of derpy, if you ask me. What are you talking about? Daddy Longlegs are one, just one piece of body. Yeah, they don't have, they have a, they fused, sound funny. a totally like fused body funny. plan. And they have these two little eyes that basically are mounted kind of off the top of their head like a crab. Are they less evolved? No. Well, everything's equally evolved. They're more closer to scorpions? Yes. That's funny because they literally are like not terrifying at all like scorpions. Well, scorpions are related to spiders in that they're arachnids. They're terrifying. Everything in the eight leg category belongs together. And they do have eight legs. So if a human had eight legs, a boy with eight legs, would you contribute to, <laughs> to the spider colony? Probably not, because... No. You just uh, said everything with eight legs is in the same category. Everything in the insect group that has, or in the uh, arthropod group that has eight <laughs> legs are closely related. How's that? That'd be kind of fun to with eight legs. Spider! spider real Spider-Man! Spiders, scorpions, water scorpions, uh forest harvestmen. There's a whole group of things that are not spiders that have eight legs that belong with the arthropods. I do, in fact, have a stove for anybody wondering. But a grill, I guess, is essential to making sweet potatoes. Are you back to talking about sweet potatoes? <laughs> Someone brought up a... Brent Dingling said Amazon has a small indoor grill for 59 Can you give me that discount? You know, since you work there? Oh. Thanks, Dingling. I think the name makes him sound derpy. You know, who the heck came up with daddy long legs in the first place? <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> they got long legs. I don't know what the daddy part. I feel like somebody had some issues. <laughs> that name is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going like to Google it. Where did daddy long, long legs come part from? I get. The daddy part I'm, I'm a little lost on. Uh, maybe it used to be dandy long legs and somebody changed it to daddy long legs. Name come from... All right. The name Daddy Longlegs is given to various harmless stellar spiders in the family. Full of, I don't know how to say it. Those are spiders, Harvestmen. though. Okay, but where did Daddy come from? The Longlegs explains the long part. Although no one knows for sure where the Daddy part of the nickname came. <laughs> <laughs> but I love how this is like a universal thing. We just call them Daddy Longlegs. Why? Just because, I guess. 
It was referring to a male who was tall and had long legs. Daddy or Dandy? In the 19th century. Daddy long legs. So I guess they just transferred it to the spider. Okay. It used to be Dandy Daddy long legs. <laughs> dandy Daddy long legs. Someone is her dandiest daddy. Must be. Could be. What are you zoomed in on there, Mary? The, like, that's its leg. Us? I don't know. I focused weird on it, though. Dude, Daddy I got, long legs? I'm oh, lost sorry. now. They're kind of cool. They, they they kill the venomous spiders. Yes. They look so innocent and derpy, but they're really just like, you know, They're designed assassins. to eat spiders. Some of them are. But their fangs aren't big enough. They can go. kill black widows. They look like little eggs. How? It's a good question. What happens if we put a hat on them? Would they still look like eggs? That would make them look adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is... Something that's egg shaped that you put a hat on then looks adorable. No, I'm st- that in does my sound, brain, I that does sound a, like what I you imagined said. a cowboy hat on the little spider and I just thought it would be cute. What happens if we put a cowboy hat on your head? I'm gonna look like a freaking redneck weirdo. Look a little hillbilly. What if you had eight legs and then we put a hat on you? I'd look pretty cool. Like that one guy from um, Monsters Inc. You know what I'm talking about? Tell me you've never seen Monster Inc. next. Monsters Inc. I have seen. I yeah, have. the guy with Spider-Man that walks around. That's me. His head is literally an egg. Your head is literally an egg. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. Mary, I'm wondering where you are. Oh my goodness. That's its leg right there, and then that was its body. I. Where are we zoomed in on, though? Hang I'm on. so confused. You'd be zooming in closer. You have 200 was... nanometers, man. You need to back um, up a little. I was zooming out the wrong way to try and show you. Headshot specialists have called me Egghead. Right here. Oh, okay. It's part of its body. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure we weren't, like, focusing on the... No, it's part, part of, of its body. For... Egghead. Ooh, that was a block of text. I know. <laughs> sure enough, using the same sort of computer simulations engineers employ to analyze stresses in bridges and aircraft parts, research to analyze the stresses in thick slabs of lava. As it solidified, and they found the material, the surface cooled to shrink more quickly in the underlying lava, which is still warm. Yeah, the the the, the angles that it intersect at are cooling structures are also the same as drying structures. The material cooled and shrank further, and cracks grew and downward into something into the slab. Small cracks began to consolidate into large ones. The angles between them gradually shifted to 120 degree angles which most of the energy is released, 120 angles. It's the same angle between two adjacent sides of a hexagon, generally maintained until the lava cooled completely. And uh, I'm really surprised that hexa, hexa flexagon wasn't all over the hexagons. Oh, yeah. Hey, I have a question. Whose notebook is that? Right there. Uh, the guy that was working with Dr. Winter, his name is Pretty Rick. Fancy. He's a retired professor. Is it, um, Jose? No. It's cool. It looks like it isn't necessarily crystal geometry, the basalts, that's true. How do they safely handle the lava in that situation? I don't know. (laughs) Buckets. Must be. The picture's not coming out as great as I thought it was it going to. It doesn't make sense why it's a common shape either, because it's literally so, like, complex, like, to have each side like that. Well, Someone 120 that. degree angles are, like, for cooling, it's the maximum. In my brain, I'd be for like, For drying, oh. it's the maximum angle for the... I would assume uh, ugly shaped circles is, like, the most common shape, you know? It's like... <laughs> ugly shaped circles? Yeah, like, hexagons... Like eggs? ...are very complex. Mm. The Illuminati. Hmm. Like eggs. I thought that's what ugly shaped circles were called. Eggs. <laughs> I got the roast. I understood. I wasn't roasting. Guess what? I'm at 5,000. 5,000 what? But I'm gonna make Dr. Stone get earwax out of his ear hole. Put no, it in my you sand. aren't. You cannot make me do that. Just like, yeah, if I have micro authority. 
You can spend your micro authority points to have us look at earwax. Your earwax. Not my earwax. You do not have that authority. Have we? We looked at a bee, didn't we? Yes, we have looked at a bee. There was a ton of pollen on it. That was. Um, we looked at fun. bees that I found bees that were dead. No. I refused to kill a bee in order to look at it in the SEM, but I found one that had been Murder. sitting on a windowsill, and in fact, that's where the beetle that uh, that's on this stub that Mary has not looked at yet. Do we want to look at the beetle? Uh, well, you can centipede or beetle, whatever you I'll like. I'll get some of Dr. Sarah's belly button lip. Don't worry, you guys. I got you. It's I what the fans want. Don't think we want that. And also, I don't know how you're going to get it. <laughs> and I don't I'm want I'm going to have Sylvia crawl in your room at night and steal it and then bring it to me in a little bag. None, none of the things on my body or from my body are <laughs> things that you can actually spend your money on. If you spent it on it, then I, I don't need to spend money on it. Instantly send it back to you. I don't need to spend money it. on it. Sylvia is going to collect it for me. I don't think she could get it either. Those last legs are kind of crazy. They're very hairy. Hairy. You want ASMR. So you want him to pull the belly button let out on camera is what I'm hearing. You want me to eat fried chicken on the stream? Is that what you're telling me, Dangling? We can't bring food here, I'm sorry. I guess you can eat some cicadas. No. I don't eat bugs. You seem like the type to eat bugs. No, I don't. I'm recently vegetarian, so I guess there's no more eating bugs for me. Um. Don't eat your wow. specimens. It's a little afternoon snack. For after that leg is super hairy. Mary's going in. I am hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Don't eat your specimens exactly. Mary is good at this. That's what Mind mm -hmm. of a Snail said. Thank you. She's been practicing for an hour now. She's got a good eye for it. look at fungi and eat the fungi. We actually have looked at mushrooms as well um, and mushroom spores. Those are things that we have looked at uh, in the past. We, we've gone through a lot of things looking for like cool strange distractions to look through uh, on the SEM. So um, we've also plants. looked at um, slime molds. We've looked at I mean, it, basically, if you could think of something small that's an organism, we basically tried to stick it in here. Um, in fact, we've even looked at centipedes before, uh, but I wanted to get one, wanted to collect one from our yard for this, and then also we collected this millipede and um, some other bugs from, the dead bugs are from my windowsill, basically. Um, Do you think if we looked at honey, it would have hexagon shapes in it? No. Does it work that way? It doesn't work that way. But if we collected and looked at the um, honeycomb, oh. it would have hexagons. Don't ask me why. I, I might be able to help with that. Honey. I don't know. <laughs> All right, hexa, hexa, Good hexagon. Good night. I was like, what? It's literally 4 p.m. They're in Sweden, remember? Yeah. Yes, I remember now. Don't forget about your boyfriend in Sweden already. Of course. <laughs> Can we get a moss ball for the stream? Do you mean a moss ball like the kind that grow in the water? Or do you mean like a true ball 
made out of moss. Um, what do you mean? There's only one type of moss ball. No, there's uh, these things that people call moss balls that grow in water. They're like... Uh, They're more like algae, like a hairy algae ball. This is the only moss ball I know of. The those, little green circle ones. Those are the ones that grow in the water. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think they're moss. I think those are an algae. We can get a moss ball. We'll find one and we'll chop its skin off. Wait, We're gonna have to. Good. We have to? I don't think we have to. Cut off a little bit of the fuzzy green and they'll still live. Which ones? Do we want to keep looking at the millipede? Uh, seven is the beetle. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Look at his shell. He's looking good. We'll go to the face first. This one's way cuter than all the other ones. I believe these are uh, June beetles. I really hate June beetles. The little brown ones? Yep. They're, whenever I had a pool, they would always die in them. And then crawl around everywhere, yeah, and then crawl on your skin. And you'd be like, crawl on your skin? Because you'd be swimming in your pool. Why do you have so many bugs crawling on you? It's it's that it's my blood, you know. I'm O negative, the best kind. You focus so slowly. I'm not. Yeah. That's the wrong way. Uh, we've also looked mm -hmm. at mites. Uh, in fact, some of the images that go by um, Digital Seahorse will actually be pictures of mites that we were collected. Um, one of the Um, one of the other faculty here at the department looks at mites. Soil mites. I have one more sweet potato <laughs> question. You and the sweet potatoes. Whenever you pick them out at the grocery store, is there a certain kind you should be picking or does it not matter? I, I mean, think you'd know this. You pick out the ones that look healthy? How do you know if they're healthy? What are, you, what are you asking me about? Like with look pineapple, at the structure inside those little pores. With pineapple and watermelon, cool. you're supposed to look at certain things to see if they're ripe and good. Yeah. Is that the same thing with sweet potatoes? Or I don't just think like so. Whatever potato. I think potatoes are good as long as they don't have uh, sprouts growing out of them or whatever. Well, I'll let Mallory know that she needs to bring her mites back from vacation so we can look at them. Mallory said she was collecting some diatom stuff from the ocean for us. Yeah, or is she? She took a picture. She actually did? It's in the Discord. Oh, look. Very cool. Whoa. The texture on the outside of the skeleton is amazing. Oh, it's really cool. There's little hairs growing out the pores. That's weird. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> I am. I would zoom in right into that little zone right in there. She did find Yeah, there some. you go. That's cool. There. That got a cheer. <laughs> Your uh, object selection made a cheer. People mm. spent money, is what I'm saying. This mind of a snail. Thank you for the cheer, mind that of a snail. Really cool. I'd say zoom out just a little bit so you can get those rows of spines uh -oh. that are at the top of the screen. In. Otherwise, I think it looks great. There you go. It's going to look even better at 7. It's 
gonna be a good one. Ooh. We saved the beetle for last, you know, for those people who stuck around. And then uh, we could actually dig out the millipede and try to put it in if we can get some, if we get finished with the beetle before five. Yeah, everything on here is pretty tiny. Uh, we're zoomed in pretty good. Although, I think our magnification currently, what does that say at the top? Six Where? Th six thousand, six and a half thousand times magnification that we're looking at. And for clarity, uh, we could zoom into 60,000 times and still be fine. Uh, 600,000 is off the table, but I have taking pictures at almost 200,000 times, so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like streaming a person cooking a potato would be pretty boring. You put it in for an hour, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> you set the stuff, and you put it in, and then you're like, okay, now we're going to chat for the next hour. Maybe it's my Maybe oven. hour and a half. Baked sweet potatoes are good. And then you load that thing with brown sugar. And brown marshmallows? Sugar? I don't. But the one at Cracker Barrel is good. I'm scared. I'd mess it up. There was a, you missed the beginning part, Whiskery. There was like a whole, I don't know, starting 25 minutes where we just talked about baked potatoes, sweet potatoes. But it's on Discord, not Twitch. Exclusive. Oh, stream into the Discord, yeah. Well, we do that sometimes, but probably she has her own channel she can stream stuff into. Guys, don't worry. I'll take one for the team. I'll stream myself making a sweet potato <laughs> for everyone to watch. How do you dice a potato? Like, they're literally hard as rocks. I would not be able to dice up a sweet potato. Have you tried using a knife? Yeah, and I try, I try and use, oh, I used a fork to stab holes in it. You were trying to dice with a fork? Stab holes in it, so it can breathe, you know? I don't think breathing is what it's doing. Thanks, breathing. Oh, oh. Um, what do you want to name this? Did you kill your battery on that as well? Wait, this is the... Why um, is there a squiggly, um, right there? What, what is that? Hairs? I don't know what to name it. Just take a close-up of the beetle carapace. Beetle buff spine. Oh. I... It's fine. That name was cool, too. Dangling says, please don't attempt the potato cooking. Why? I don't know. Little Seahorse says there was a YouTube show inside another show where a character was streaming his grilling but didn't cut out the waiting for the cooking to happen and he just stood there smiling at the camera. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> That'd be great. Just uh, put the potato in and then just stand there and, you know, collect all the follows and likes, mm -hmm. I guess. We got the... Uh... Why did Pacific tell me no? Tell you know about what? Cooking a sweet potato. She didn't say anything about it. Oh, I thought you said don't. She told me not to cook one. No, that was Dangling who said don't do it. Dangling, you're mean. Dangling is mean. I think that's true. I think we knew that. Ooh, look at that. Those are some boys that need a blackhead strip. Look at that. <laughs> is it supposed to have all those little things, or is that just, like, the zoom? It's crusty. The, the like, it looks the like stuff. fingerprints. Where? Zoom in. Are you talking about the white? Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> fingerprint. That's a cool shot. Take that. Mm. What is the stream saying? Uh, Dangling says, I am not. Okay. They can just, anyways. I don't know what that means. I watched Doctor Girl on Twitch before. Is it me? I am not. Good couch potato content. A tiny horseshoe. Whoa! I agree. 
That was my reaction. I have as well. a. I have a. Uh, as long as we're woeing, I've got a woe from. Uh, that was the back of the beetle. I'm pretty sure. It might mm-hmm. be the snail. Really yeah, yes. we're on the carapace of the beetle still. We do that. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's uh, on the back of the carapace, right? For the beetle? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And those little pulls, those little pores that you're seeing are the ones that we were sort of seeing before. That looks really cool. I want you to zoom in on one of those little holes next. Like on yeah. that? Okay. Two hundred IQ. Wow. Hey, Anarchy Kitchen is streaming. Wow. Who? Anarchy Kitchen. Kitchen? Anarchy Kitchen. I bet they know how to make a sweet potato. You know what? It's got kitchen in the name. If he's still <laughs> on, when we're done, we'll go raid Anarchy Kitchen. Whoa, whoa. And then you can ask them how to make a baked potato, and they can tell you the same thing you just heard four times at the beginning of this video. Yeah, that's right. I give up. You should try baking it at a lower temperature, though. I think what we should do is... 350. We'll all have a contest who can bake the best sweet potato. I'm going to lose. And then... I'm going to order them from Outback and bring it in and be like, here's my potato. (laughs) And then Rihanna will show up with no baked potato. I think I might order Just like she did the no cookies at the cookie contest we had. Yeah, from Outback. And for anybody who was tracking because they came to the streams before we talked about going to have a lab party with a cookie contest, Mary won the contest. It was For best cookie. They were so good. Everybody, everybody ranked Mary's cookies. She brought us donuts Friday too. Mary just loves to feed us. She's trying to. Yeah. Unless it has to do with maple syrup, and then she doesn't bring it in. That I just forgot about. (laughs) I definitely brought in some good cookies. Everyone tried them. They loved them. I brought in some really delicious chai tea concentrate for Mary. That was yeah. It was really good. I have chai tea. It's in the in the refrigerator right now. Is it what what type is it? No, what brand? It's called Third Street, Third Street. or Sixth Street, or something like that. Third Street. I want to know what you named that as. What did you choose to name this? Um, close up, and then I put back on it because oh. I wasn't. All right. What's our magnification now? You. Um, eight thousand. Looks like bugs, like little maggots. You're the one who asked for this, Rihanna. Maybe you should choose one without a hair on it. No, the hair's the best part. You're ridiculous. <laughs> I would say just zoom out a little so you could see the stuff around the outside edge. Well, look at go. all those maggots. Now it looks like an eye. Yeah. Like yeah. An evil eye. Um, can you, let's see, uh, slow the speed to seven like you would for a normal photo, and then hit the auto brightness contrast button. It's Which one's this auto, one? This one. That one, yeah. Just to brighten it a little bit. Because I think it will. Make it stand out a little bit more. We can always fix that in post. Uh, but I really like the, the bright sort of scale-like ridges. Yeah. And I think it, it will make them stand out. There they are. Yes. So if you're happy with the focus, you can just go ahead and... I think it... Mm, it looks good. Yeah. We go to the chat. I want to read it. Stubble. Professor, you are the best professor. I am the best professor? That's good to know. It's a dimple. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I think it looks like an eye. Little maggots all over it. <laughs> Evil eye filled with maggots. And you know what it's saying? What is it My saying? My precious. Put me in Rihanna's hair. Probably. Could go 
Demon I feel like you're uh, <laughs> gross. I feel like you're uh, all of your hangups about bugs are they land on you or in your hair. It literally didn't mind me on business and I would be like, hey. If cool. they didn't land in you or your hair, you'd be like, fine. I like bees. Bees are fine. What if the bee lands in your Not hair? Not carpenter bees, though. I hate carpenter bees. Who could hate a carpenter They're bee? They're literally They're ginormous. They're so cute. They're ginormous. Mary and I are always on the same page. You know what I do love? Cats. They don't do anything to me. They just... Have you ever off. had a cat? You should uh, visit my cat, then. <laughs> he no, likes to throw up on... It'll Everywhere. Yeah, they they just decide sometimes they're just gonna stop using the litter box. I like to hold them like a they baby. They throw up all the so time. Mine loves me. My I cats. Like this. My cats are all outside cats. Really? My cat's yeah. totally psychotic. Like it wants me to pet it, and then it's like, put me down, and then <laughs> yeah. it's like, no, no, come pet me. Wednesday's fun. Put me down. A little, just a little confusing. And then uh, sometimes it wants to cuddle with me, and then it just starts attacking me for no reason. I. Have so, a cat at my home. Well, not here. <laughs> Headshot specialist says, do you love cats because you don't have cats? You know, that's exactly uh, there's it. a TikTok and it said, if men hate cats, it's because they can't control it like they can control a dog. It's the one animal that will not listen to you. Like, and follow you your orders. Do you mean like dude men or do you mean like humans? Men. Like, like men. Men that hate cats. I think it's just because they're psychotic. No. I don't think it's about controlling it. I just wanted to like, okay, mm-hmm. now it's time to be pet, and I pet it, and it doesn't just decide, put me down. It, like, it wants you its jumped face. up on my lap. It wants its you face. wanted me to pet you. You started purring, and then you jumped off me like it's I was confused. biting. Meow. 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 Cats are a learning process. You have to learn what they like, and never deviate <laughs> from their likes. <laughs> I don't like cats, but I admit, sometimes I enjoy watching cat videos. I like kittens good shot, better. Mary. Um, what do we na- want to name this one? Uh, whatever you'd like. Alright, people. I'm gonna go. But, it was great streaming with everybody. I'll see you guys. Not the I.I.? When are we streaming <laughs> yeah. again? I. When am I streaming again? I'm streaming Wednesday. on Wednesday. I'll be here Wednesday. We Will can you talk though? more about breakups, or ripped jeans, or Houses on sweet fire, potatoes, arson, sweet potatoes, whatever you guys are feeling. All Rihanna's favorite topics. They really are. Ooh. And I see it was really on the wing that we were looking. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's on its back. Can we take a look at its eye? This? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did a good job animating this <laughs> Cats do rule the internet, by the way. That is my final say. Goodbye, you guys. All right, have fun with swim lessons. Also, the claw would be pretty cool to look at. Am I? Oh, <laughs> I'm zooming out. That's why. You keep zooming out when you need to zoom in. Yeah, it's confusing. Sydney just invited herself to the stream like that. What if we didn't want her, right? What's happening now? I'm trying to... You're zooming in. Now you're zooming out. There we go. I'm trying to focus it. That's too far. I don't know. The stream is still going. It was just Rihanna leaving. We got another maybe 20 minutes. Then I can finally get some food, yeah. Except for it'll be time to eat dinner and I'll have not eaten lunch, which means I probably have to wait. All bug eyes look basically the same. Just like a bunch of little hexagons. They seem like they're going to be really cool until you zoom in on them and then you're like, yeah. eh, it still looks the same. Maybe try the claw.
What's for dinner? I don't know. Uh, let's see, my wife made potato soup last night. I suppose I should have just brought some in with me and had it for lunch. But then it would be all in my beard and stuff, you know. So it could be that I'll have some more potato soup, or it could be she's making something else. Uh, is Mrs. Attack a scientist too? Yes. In fact, uh, my wife studies diatoms as well. And uh, she teaches here occasionally as an adjunct. So in the fall, she's teaching two classes. Right now, she's teaching an online class, which is consuming most of her time. And uh, she sometimes shows up on my streams. Not usually from the SEM but from the home streams. And I have some material uh, that I collected when I went out on Sunday. Um, what is that noise? Oh, I think they're in the other lab. Um, I do have some material that I collected from a pond, a local pond, on Sunday. So I might do a light microscope stream sometime here. Tomorrow or today, possibly. Tomorrow, uh, I have some other people coming in to use the SCM in the morning, and then uh, I've got an interview with a potential student in the afternoon. So. Ooh, look at the, the texture on the I think that's just dirt. Yeah. Thought it was something interesting, but that's interesting. You found that's... other things that were interesting yeah. along the way. They're little scales. striations are pretty neat. They're sort of overlapping scales is what they look like. It's Mary's I taking them out of focus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get them in better focus, but... You went the wrong way. Yeah, this there way. There you go. Now I went too far. <laughs> yep. I don't think that really did anything, did it? <laughs> no, probably too close and they're at a weird angle. Yeah. So I think probably you're catching like too much of it. Too much of the slant. Can we move down and look at the like the end of the foot? This yeah, part? Down there. crazy structure on the actual claw. Looks like it, um, some sort of weird, look in here, there's like yeah. a really weird texture on it.
super cool. Is that picture worthy or no? Yeah, I would take a picture. It's cool. You don't think so? That's Use cool. Use your judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Those lines appeared out of nowhere. That's the... Uh, looks like it has to be uncomfortable to stand on. Yeah, maybe. It's the cool thing about the SEM is like uh, the texture is just kind of... Um, endless, right? You zoom in and there's a texture and you zoom in and there's some more texture. It's just always fun to look at. Whatever. Whatever we stick in there. The exception of earwax. <laughs> Well, I think given where we are and how long it took us to pump down, we'll probably save the centipede and the other bug for Wednesday. We also have kitty whiskers um, from Devil and Mrs. J's kitten. <laughs> Shout out to the earwax. Yeah, that was Rihanna's idea, as bad as it was. Uh, let's see. So on Wednesday, we'll probably take a look at some stuff that Devil and Mrs. J sent me. Um, this little package. Which include the whiskers that fell off her kitten. Um, some material from a milkweed plant. Oh, it's the, the like, cornstalk part, the top part of milkweed plant. Um, some mica flakes which will be good because Mary's got a geology background and the kitty whiskers that uh, came off of one of her kittens. So we'll put those together with the centipede and or the millipede and uh, the other bug that I got, which is like a really big fuzzy bug that I had to decapitate. Um, but I feel like it will have some pretty cool hair action. <laughs> or should I mail my earwax too? Uh, <laughs> let me get Rihanna's address for you. Yeah, I don't think she pulled them off. I think they're, uh, I think they actually fell out. So, I, I think they're, uh, we'll have you mail them to Rihanna, and then she can manage the earwax as she pleases. Those are some cool claws. Yeah. And I'll let you just find one more cool picture for us, and then we'll we'll find okay. somebody to raid. So, and you can help me decide who we should raid. Okay. Oh, that's. And I feel like it should either be Anarchy Kitchen, who hasn't streamed in a long time, but does food and food science. Uh, is that part of it, or yeah, is that? Yeah, it's its wing. Uh, so beetles have like a hard shell wing on the outside, and mm -hmm. then they have an under wing, and that is the um, the part that actually does the flying. So I don't know if you've ever seen a beetle fly, but they pull up the outer wings and they just kind of hold them, and then they pull the wings out that are actually used to fly from underneath, and that's actually one of the wings from underneath, uh, sticking out underneath the the overwing part, the hard shell wing part. It looks kind of like the other one does. Very hairy. Yes. And then I think that's one of the legs from the same beetle in the background. It is. Cool claw. It's its toe claw again. Wow. 
Yeah, it's got the, the texture the... from the leg and the claw, and then you have all yeah. the hairs in the background. Multi-dimensional textured photo. Uh, so my choices will be Little Chook, who does art, or Anarchy Kitchen, who does food and drink. What do you think, Mary? Um, the food and drink one sounds good. Okay, Anarchy Kitchen it is. He hasn't streamed in a while, but he cooks the food, and then he takes pictures of it, and he eats it. And, sounds uh, good. He's been doing, for a while, he was going like all around Africa, taking foods from all those places, and basically um, making the food like in traditional food, and then taking pictures of it, and then eating it. Gotcha. So, I think that's good. And uh, it would be a good person to raid. We're going to go raid in our kitchen. That's the address for his uh, channel. You should give him a follow, or you can wait till we raid him here. And Anarchy Kitchen. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for hanging out, Whiskery, and for all the people who came by to visit, and for uh, getting us to 2,000 followers. So, super excited to have uh, less than a year, 2,000 followers on Twitch. It's been pretty amazing. Um, hey, Jeff, we'll try. How are you doing? And um, we'll go visit with Anarchy Kitchen. Hopefully you'll hang out and see a little bit of his stream. Um, he's a great guy. He also is a moderator for Dell, um, who is uh, another one of the microscope streamers. And um, talks a little bit about food science, and he also does a little bit of like how to cook things as well talks a lot about different kinds of recipes and whatever he's making. So I want to say thank you to Rihanna and for Eleanor for hanging out and for Mary for driving the SCM for the last hour and a half here, uh, taking some great photos for us. Hopefully Mary will be back on Wednesday with us. And then, oh Hopefully. no, on Wednesday you're not going to be here, are you? Um, I don't know yet. Oh, okay. Probably not. Usually she works on Wednesday at yeah. her other job. And then... Um, Mary and I have an appointment for Thursday for the SCM, but we won't be streaming it, probably. We'll just be looking at diatoms. So on Wednesday, we'll probably look at this stuff from Devil and Mrs. J. All right, we'll catch everybody next time. It's going to send us in a second okay. to uh, Anarchy Kitchens. Yeah. Let that go. I can hit stop streaming.